Matrognum underscore 143 just subscribed for 17 months. The most important part of dance is music. So now let us listen to the music and identify the beats. One, two, three. But that was too... 
too soft. The, 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 the,
Yeah, I haven't heard this. This is... Yes, not but Hello. This is actually from Space Channel 5, but every yes, time I hear about but... it, I keep thinking it's about to break into Austin Powers theme. Don't you hear it? It's like, I know it's not, but every time, I just feel like, oh, oh, this is the start of the Austin Powers theme. What's this doing in here? Huh. Oh, well. Oh, I gotta play catch-up on these. I'm sorry, folks. Oh. Dr. Smasher just subscribed for 10 months. I have my fingers on. Rick Nubbett. Oh, I forgot to do- Oh, man. I was gonna do a, a, something on the side. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I had several bits I was gonna set for today, and then I was just like, after the stream yesterday, I started kind of nosediving. And this whole morning, the whole morning, I was just like, uh, should I cancel? <laughs> <laughs> Metronome, thank you for 17. Appreciate the prime. And Doc Smasher, thank you for 10 as well. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. I made I made the the decision to go out and buy a humidifier. And you may say, why, Geop, I have one of those in my house. I've always had one in my house. Well, not me. Especially because it's very humid around here, typically. But, uh, something happened across the course of yesterday. I mentioned my voice felt kind of weird in yesterday's stream, and it got better toward the end, but also I started feeling like this dull pain in my rock sinuses. And I was like, uh-oh, am I catching something? And ugh, if you've had it, you know what I mean. It's just bone dry, and just breathing has like this ache, and it's like, ooh, ooh. So this morning I was like, I haven't even looked at the house listings. I haven't even shored up things for this week. And that's kind of like a couple hours, and I was like, oh. Well, okay, so I went out, I decided, what the shit, I will buy a humidifier. And about an hour later, I'm like, okay, I can stream, I guess. So, today's stream is a little slapdash in places. Hello, hi. Don't, no, it, don't mind the desk ornament. Mine looks a little unlike that, but it is what it is. It's nice and soothing. Uh, just subscribed for ten months. Ooh. Resubbed just in time to stop the ad for soup in Minecraft. Really? Mine soup? I've heard of stone soup, but that's a totally different game. Also, thank you for the for the prime turbo. Much appreciated. Thank you for ten, by the way. Hmm, the little guy. Which little guy? You mean the president? The president's a big little guy. Right there. Right there. Hmm. So, ooh, just as a heads up for today, I do have uh, the final houses I want to go to as a wrap up, but otherwise I'm kind of doing this a lot more by the seat of my pants than usual. By the time I finished looking through everything and getting the houses, that was like about two hours. And at that point it was like, it was like, 40 minutes ago is about when I stopped, and I usually need like another 30 minutes to an hour to get an order straight of houses, and I was like, uh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> a little more rough around the edges. Hopefully not too noticeable. Stop it! Damn arm. It's already twitching, it's this early. Hmm. Anyway, anyway. The final houses. That's it, they stopped making them. Hmm. Pardon me, goodness. The present still wants that crystal? Which crystal? Which crystal? I don't know the Sonic backstory, so I'm not sure what the present's after. I just know he's kind of around. He's not very useful. <laughs> Could do roulette instead. The thing is with roulette, I feel... I feel roulette runs the risk of having a dry spell. You know what I mean? Because at least getting the fresh stuff that's new every week, there's usually some good bangers in there. Sometimes there's a house I have in the backlog, and I'm just like, why did I save this? Like, maybe it's something I got around the beginning, and it's just not weird enough. Like, there, there are so many more listings that I get nowadays than I did a year ago. And a lot of those, a lot of them that I'm getting now, I want to say like 80% of them I skip past. You know what I mean? It's not that there's anything wrong with them. Well, I mean, it's not that they're, it's not that they're bad houses to show, but sometimes it's like, well, that's just one room, and it's a little, eh, whatever. Or, oh, that's an interesting lawn ornament. Just sort of like, well, whatever. Like the bump, the bumper for this for this stream 
was, uh, did I still have that? Hang on. Let me show you. For the folks who aren't on Twitter or Blue Sky, let me slap this in here. Because this is from a listing that wasn't really that interesting. But I just saved screenshots because this was funny to me. Hang on. Screenshot. Here. And screenshot. Here. Okay, let me slap this in here. Where is that uh, screenshot folder? Hang on, y'all. Hang on, y'all. So, for example, I will get a ton of houses, and some of them won't have anything too interesting. And you look through about 80 photos, and you're like, Ugh, did I miss the joke? Am I too picky? And like this one right here. I forget what the whole draw of this place was. I forgot why they put it on there. It's it's very it's very infuriating because sometimes someone will just slap down a listing and they'll say there's a lot here to unpack. And that's it. They won't say anything else. And it's just sort of like, okay, glasses on the wall. Yeah, but the thing is what really grabbed me with this listing and probably the only interesting thing about it was this guy. Little enhance on that dude up near the top. Look at that chin. That is load bearing. That jaw. Oh, oh my goodness. Hmm. <clears throat> Not a lot to unpack till you move in, though. Exactly. It is the most. <laughs> it's probably because I'm jaded from having looked at so many of these, but it's always a link and someone saying, there's a lot here to unpack. And it's just like. Sometimes they won't even post the link to the listing, and you're like, Wah. What the shit, buddy? <laughs> it's supposed to be really fucked up real estate, but sometimes people say, Oh, this is what a house will get you in the center of downtown New York City for however many million. And it's like, yep, it's a shitty apartment. That's kind of what you know and expect from, you know, the worst spot, getting getting real estate in the worst spot of New York City. It's kind of like, eh, it's not interesting. <laughs> hmm. So that's usually what I have to pick through, you know? <clears throat> anyway, anyway, let me scoot this aside. How's everybody's weekend, by the way? Hopefully it's been going pretty well so far. I am trying to, no, don't play this. Hang on. Don't play this. That's music for later when this wraps up. There. Okay, okay. And done. Perfect. Hmm. <laughs> Personally, I'm kind of just doing some... Oh, hang on. Who pinged me? What is this? Oh, April Fool stuff. Don't worry about it. There's shenanigans afoot. <clears throat> Taxes are done. Oh, I still got to do mine. Ooh. I'll probably do that Thursday. I'll probably do my taxes Thursday. Honestly, I thought about last year, I dragged my feet on getting a CPA. I kind of feel like I might need to get one at some point soon. I don't know. The whole content creation thing, I'm kind of not sure how to approach that with somebody. <laughs> I'm not missing out, but I feel like, especially if I swap over to a different job that is fully remote, and I've also got this streaming room here. It gets down to some technicalities. Like docking part of my bill for work and stuff like that. And a part of my home. But that is stuff that... That's stuff that draws like a red flag for... Uh, for... Uh, oh, God. My, my memory. What's the word? Oh, God. We get called back for taxes. Uh, audited. That, that's a red flag for auditing. So it's like there's some stuff I could probably I could probably squeeze some out of and I feel like I feel I'd feel a lot better with the CPA behind the wheel. So I've got to go to someone locally and be like, uh So I do content creation. What sort of content creation? Res? Hmm. Never played it. Hmm. Still better than Knuckle Dude who owns IRS. 140k. How many decades did he not do his taxes? Jesus, 140,000. Summer or fall, don't try to get one last minute in winter or spring. Yeah, I'll have to think about that next time. I wouldn't do it last minute. Definitely not last minute, but like last year, it was crossing my mind in January. And I was like, well, I'm not doing too much with streaming. And still this year, it's like, eh, it's okay. 
has a very good 2016 where he won like 200k in tournament money. Oh, I see, I see. <clears throat> IRS always does find... The IRS always, always does track down the holdouts. I mean, I haven't been audited yet. So I feel like I've been doing things correctly. But it's also, it was very much, you know, a white collar job without too much else going on. Is kind of, it's pretty easy to corral the taxing on that. So, hmm. Hmm. Anyway, anyway. I'll knock that out on Thursday. It's funny that I'm feeling under the weather because I joked, well not joked, I seriously said yesterday because of some bullshit at work I'm going to just burn Thursday as a sick day because they don't need me and they're kind of forcing us into the office for a very specific spread of days when I pretty much said no, I'm not doing a three day block. I'll break the three days up. You can't have me there three days in a row. The cube farm stuff will drive me crazy. <laughs> They said, well, we got a corporate officer showing up, so we want everybody in on the exact same day. Sorry if it fucks up your schedule. And I'm just like, Ew. So, lo and behold, the karmic balance of the universe said, well, Giop, you're going to burn a sick day. You've kind of forgot what feeling sick feels like. You've had good luck these past several years. You want to feel like garbage tomorrow? Here you go. <laughs> hmm. Corporate doesn't know I exist, who cares? Exactly, exactly. That's pretty much the whole thing. Corporate is coming. They, they, they effectively said, hey, we got this dude you've never heard of coming in town, and we want everybody here on the exact same days. Plan your schedules accordingly. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm sitting here going through practice exams. I'm on the tail end of them, and I'm just like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I know I've been floating the exam stuff for a while, but I think I think after this week I'll feel good with scheduling the exam. I'm just having too many little holdout things to where I will trip over something. I'm a little like, ah, I'll study this a bit more. But I think I'm I think I'm getting pretty close. I just need to make a, a last pass of a number of practice exams. I got a shitload of them, which is not a bad problem to have. But I don't have to do them all. Hmm. Can you hire a bunch of extras to pretend to be us? Mm. <clears throat> Unless he's handing out cash, he's not my problem. Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, it's just kind of the problem of being in a mid to large size company, especially as you go through mergers. There's just the whole, uh, there's the whole rotate spinning door situation where you, you know, I, 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 I feel like I've gone it on. Oh, I've gone on at length about this in the past. Just the whole thing of like, you get the whole schmaltzy, mean nothing language. You'll get the whole all hands meeting where it's like, this has nothing to do with me. Why did I have to get up at 7 a.m. and show up physically at the office to listen to this talking head? I'm behind on two projects that I have to get done, yada yada. Stuff like that. Especially when corporate's in another country. Corporate I have is here, but it's just uh, the past few mergers we've been in have been such massive companies. It's like you may as well be you may as well be talking to somebody in outer space. I remember uh, <laughs> I remember one of the mergers. They had to sit in for like a really bad lunch with the CEO on a schedule, and man, that was that. <laughs> I remember the guy was trying to connect with us casually on just a guy-to-guy -guy basis, and he was talking about expenses he had to make from moving over from Italy. And I remember him talking about how much money it cost for him to move his dog from Italy to where I live locally. And the number, I cannot remember what the money was, but I am, I am pretty sure it was like north of 10 grand. And he just mentioned it casually. And it was just me sitting there, and I just kind of side-eyed at my, um... At, at a, I just side-eyed at a dude who was not my manager, but I respected as a boss. I just kind of side-eyed him when I heard that number, and he just kind of, like, shrugged at me like, huh? <laughs> they puffed their chest out how great the company is doing, how much profits, and never trickling down. Pretty much, yeah. As long as I've been at this company whatever name it's been under, they've always told us, oh, it was a rough year, bonuses? Ah, ooh, about that. Or, ooh, yeah, it's great, it's going great. Um, We're not gonna give you the bonus this year, but next year, it's gonna be big. And that's pretty much happened every year. It's been the whole, it's been the whole Charlie Brown, the football situation, right? Hmm. 
And that's always what happens. So it's the, the big joke I always tell people is just don't plan on a bonus. If you get one, no matter what the size, oh, that's a pleasant surprise. I didn't plan on that. <laughs> That's always funny is when I think of, uh, there's the Christmas Vacation movie where there's this whole thing. It's a different line of work, different era and all that stuff. But I always think of it funny of how the main character was planning to build a pool based off a bonus and the bonus got yanked. I'm like, yeah, buddy, that's how it happens. <laughs> hmm. Jelly of the Month Club. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that in a hot minute. <laughs> It's funny story. We actually have, uh, <laughs> we got, okay, I, ha I have several weird ants. There is a particular weird ant, and her husband, um, bought, and they travel a lot out of a mobile home. And we always bring up a bunch of Christmas vacation references when they're there. And sometimes they mention they have to go off to, a, like, a dump site to unload waste and stuff. And just whenever I hear that, I'll, and if I'm talking to Dad or if I'm visiting or something, I'll just say, Shitter's clogged! <laughs> oh, man. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm sorry. Don't worry about the context. Just know that it involved, um, uh... Draining into a sewer, what was it, like a, like a, like a gutter in the road where someone's dumping their sewage into? <laughs> hmm. What a strange world they lived in back then, yeah. It's very funny to think about the affordability of a pool based off a bonus. No matter how big the bonus was, it's kind of like, really? Wow. <laughs> Must have been a pretty shit pool. Kind of be in line with the, uh, the whole aesthetic of the families, though, I guess, right? Suffice to say, it involves Randy Quaid. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he really killed that role. <laughs> exact same spiel about why wages are stagnating, the same reason whatever sounded believable in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of corporate speak about that stuff. But anyway, anyway. Let me see here. Let me see. So should I actually start pulling out the houses, I suppose? Brr, 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 brr. Ah, good news. I did not get hung up on the bot detection for opening up on my all my bajillion tabs. Great. Great. Okay. What's this? Hmm. Vocals. Okay. Let me skip past this. English vocals throw my brain off when I'm talking. What's the next track? Adventure. Sure. Sure. The redeem for show me a house is available. If you redeem that, you're pissing points away, buddy. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, okay. So, first thing is first. Temp text. Let me see here. Oh. Ignore that. Hang on. Uh huh. Thanks for the quack, Bach. Thank you for the quack. Let me see here. Bingo paused for first one. Yeah, it's pronounced navs. If you know, you know. Oh. Let me see, let me see. Mm. Also, before I forget, um, my plan, my plan is... Okay, don't tell my boss this. Okay. Actually, I don't even know who my boss would be at this point. But anyway, I'm doing a sick day on Thursday because fuck this week. I don't need to be in there. And I was thinking, I don't want to cancel entirely a stream on Wednesday. So it... I'll put the descri I'll put the whole time and stuff in the Discord. It's probably going to be a one-off later stream. So it may be a little too late for the folks in Europe and elsewhere, and maybe some folks in the States, but it's kind of like, eh, whatever, whatever. It's just going to be like some ROM hacky stuff. I'm thinking probably Martin64 ROM hacks? Maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling up to those. <laughs> Can you speak into this lapel a little louder? <laughs> mm, Martin? The same. Okay. So. Vinyan. Yes. Okay, okay. Hello, I'm getting closer, but that's so I can get further away. Hello. Am I close? Am I big, or am I very small and far away? No, wait, no. Am I... Am I small, or am I far away? 
There. Got it. Only took me two tries. Puppet size? Exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Let me... Scoot that there. Okay. And where is my rock overlay? There. Oop -a. Okay. Needs one of those theater booths. I need to do a frame. I keep wanting to do, like, a puppet... A frame that says, like, live puppet reaction. But I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> okay. And... The reason for it being paused on this one is there's not really anything too offensive. And there's a good number of photos. But there's something I kind of want to show you at the very end. Okay. So... Mm-hmm. Boob house. I think they're the same size this time. I think they are. They tend to be asymmetric, I've found. Usually. Okay. So, let me see here. Inside. Yeah. Ooh, they wrapped up the stairs. Just in time for the move. How considerate. <laughs> Goku's house. <laughs> Do <laughs> we have a little bit of a Toriyama house style, don't we? Okay, so is this virtually staged or they remove stuff? I think they just remove stuff, yeah? Yeah, they just removed it. Okay, well, not important. We don't have the bingo game going, so. Hmm. Okay. Kitchen, sure. And the thing I'm going towards is on the exterior, so otherwise, just kind of drink in the rest of the house, okay? Hmm. Okay. Loft. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's just the framing of the shot that makes the turlet a little boring. <laughs> As opposed to an exciting turlet. A weird nook. I don't know. Yeah, it's silly. But there's something cute here I kind of like. Now, shower. Sure, sure. Okay, attic. Yeah, work in progress or something. It's no big deal. Okay, and this is basement, presumably. That's garage. Actually, this is the linking way into the garage, maybe? No, this is garage itself. This is garage itself. Okay. Huh. Well, why did I save this? Oh! There's a third one! It's little guy-sized. <laughs> I love that so much. Mm. You're like, well... My dog wants one, too! <laughs> hmm. Hate this isn't on bingo? Well, I mean, otherwise folks would be pouring over the images, you know what I mean? It's a cute idea, I like that. It's the Three Dome House. Okay, and... Mm -hmm. Let me just do a bit of a bumper. One second, y'all. Jesus Christ! But Frozen Pyro cheered X100, Ooh. sir, a third geodesic <laughs> dome has been discovered. <laughs> sir, thank you for the bits, Pyro. I really like Brian's inflection there. <laughs> okay. There we go, just the random no context. Okay. What's the details on this? There's nothing else, really. That's, yeah, that was the, that's the last photo. Okay. Uh, 500,000 Mel... I'm sorry. So, if it's Australia, you'd say Melbourne, I think. But how would, how do you pronounce it in Florida? Thank you for gnoming, Triacinth. I guess there is probably... You probably have a good amount of gnomes over, over in Florida. A lot of guard gnomes. A lot of old people love those things, right? Thank you for the bits, though. Hmm. So how... how okay... How do people... How do Floridians pronounce this? Do they say just Melbourne? Is it just the nails on the chalkboard Melbourne pronunciation? I've heard I've heard Melbourne, Melbourne too much. To hear, to hear Melbourne would be kind of funny to me. Melbourne, yeah? Hmm. Okay. Well, they're in Melbourne, yeah, Florida. Anything interesting here the, before I move on? What was it built? 85. Yeah, they were doing something with the with the attic. I don't know what. Is the little guy an alligator? Oh my god, Stern, that'd be the best. Just instead of a dog, they just have a, 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 a gator. <laughs> it's pronounced France. Oh, very exotic. Thank you for the bits, Bach. Dash dash H-O-A. It's Florida. 
It's Florida. You're going to have one. Actually, 500k. I'm guessing this isn't near House of Mouse. That's relatively affordable for a track of land of... How big... Did this say acreage? 1.2... Okay, one and a quarter acres. Yeah, that's a pretty good plot of land. This isn't anywhere near Didney, I don't think, then, with that sort of... Because that's, that's pretty affordable dirt right there. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let me take this away and start the usual song and dance over here. So, chrome hidden. Close that tab. Okay. Jesus Christ. And where is the... More like House of Labs. <laughs> it seemed fine. It seemed clean enough. Oh, the, the, the House of... Oh, that one. Oh, oh, oh I see. Thank you for the bits again, Driasynth. Let me see. Ah. Uh, okay. Prediction. Am I gonna get a bingo? I my limiters are on. It would be quite the quite the upset if I did get a bingo today, but I mean, as always, there is a non-zero chance. And bingo. Let me see here. Bingo. There we go. And let me grab a card. Perfect. An hour out from NASA. Really? Oh, okay. Okay, give me a second, y'all. So this gets into this gets into the whole thing of I didn't have enough time to prep myself ideally. So the initial house spread, we may have some that are a little longer, and we may have some that are kind of one-offs. I usually like doing the one-off stuff super early, honestly. Uh, what were you doing here? Ooh, okay, okay, I got a good one-off. Okay, okay. When I'm grabbing houses, I usually have like a list for the week. And if there's stuff that's like a, a sicko house, I put it at the very bottom. Because that's usually, if I'm short on time, I will just grab the entire list and the ones at the bottom will be the far right tabs. And that's the best. And usually the first, I throw in the weird stuff where there's like one or two funky pictures. And everything else in the middle is kind of like it averages out over time. So usually, shooting from the hip should be okay. Chrome. There we go. Okay, let me tighten up here. Belief in Giup not winning, that's fair. It breaks my heart. But statistically, statistically, that is very likely. Okay, hmm. Yeah, a little, a little snow blindness here. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's see, let's see. Glass cube basement window. Oh! Nice spot. Wow. Very first. Oh, man. Good spot. Wow. Yep, definitely. Okay. House has promise. Oh. Okay, okay. That's not mold on the counter. That's just how it looks. <laughs> That's just... Visual texture, okay. Oh! What is up with the microwave? This fake copper brassy look? What is this? Hold on. I've never seen a microwave like this. Huh? It has no keypad? I'm wondering if... Did someone DIY this? There's spray paint over here. Wow. This microwave has seen some shit. Oh my god. Wow. Well, I mean, on the plus side, there is there is a pipe here for the hood, so it is venting it upward. It could be venting in the attic for all we know, but it is extracting it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. Maybe maybe it's not our speed. Maybe this is something for a more adventurous homeowner, right? Ew, a little yellowed. Needs a bit of work? Possibly. It needs a bit of lighting, honestly. Also, I should go ahead. I don't think anybody's gonna twist my arm on this, but I'm gonna call visible damage. There's a lot of ugliness here, but there's also some stuff that's like, mm, that looks like shit, buddy. Floor's level? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You could put a basketball there and it won't go anywhere. Okay. Some decals. I can't... can't quite make out what some of these are. This looks like a really fucked up version of the crow. 
from the 90s movie, specifically? <laughs> hmm. Let me see, let me see. That's a lady? Who is that? Okay, I see it now, I see it now. Yeah, 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 they got a little... Okay, I see it better now. Hmm. Okay. House has suffered so much. Oh! Oh, yeah, it suffered. Oh. Okay, this is art. This is art. This is like a decal. This is decal. This is not... This is not black mold. <laughs> there went the copper pipes. Yeah, they harvested the good stuff already, I'm afraid. Can we see house meat? I don't think we can see house meat from here. Nothing clear cut. Yeah, it looked like a clock face is what I'm seeing. Okay. Huh. Basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... It's fine. Hmm. Oh! That's hoops, baby! That's hoops! On the barn? Hoops on the barn? With barn doors? That's a two for one. Oh my god, you don't see that in the wild that often. That's wild. This one must have escaped captivity. And they aren't going to survive well in the wild. How unfortunate, man. Oh, okay. Hmm. Feral hoops, exactly. Wild horseplay, my god. Oh, we're back in the house? Oh, okay, we got this bay window area again. Hmm. Huh. Says a cow can't play basketball? Well, I mean, they have a game actually called Horse. That was probably named after a horse that could play basketball. So I, I feel there's precedent, right? Oh, okay. Another room with roses? Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. Not sure what's going on in this room. Oh! Wow! Brains? Also, oh, the bones of a gamer room. This was, a gamer lived here once. Can you believe it? Oh my God. But nothing distinctive? Like we got a weird messed up toadstool that's definitely not Martin related. Um, weird stuff otherwise. <laughs> Generic gamer, big mobile gaming fan, big, big, big. Bandit Shroom. <laughs> Legally distinctive, okay? <laughs> Something epic happened here. <laughs> oh. Okay, they just ripped down wallpaper here. Huh. Okay, okay. What was that? What was the door on that, actually? Oh, okay. Hmm. The gamer zone really caught my attention, but... The barn hoops, that was a surprise. That was... That was me organically tripping over it. Ooh. 275,000. Mm hmm. Waseka? Waseka? Minnesota? Huh. Ah, heavily treed nine acres. 1913. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Wall or ceiling paintings. Well, those were decals, weren't they? We usually don't pass decals for those because that's just, you know, that's just basically a. That's basically just a wallpaper. I'm thinking of, like, airbrushed wizard stuff, you know what I mean? Which, I, I say airbrushed wizard, we have actually seen an airbrushed album cover. <laughs> hmm. Original woodwork and all the glorious built-ins. Hmm. I'm a little perplexed by the notion of um, built-ins in the context of a house that's over 110 years old. Also, thank you for the follow-up. Okay. Well, let me tuck this one away. Let me hide this guy here. Um, okay. I've got a house to go to. Okay, short one again. I like grabbing the short one just so I can thin out the tabs a little. Whoops. Can I grab this? Are you going to let me grab it? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Old world charm. Only the best. Hmm. So... You ever see a house with high visibility gear? Like, you know, when you're out to avoid getting shot by hunters, you wear like high visibility clothing. This is Waldo's house? No, this is white and high visibility orange. Traffic cone house? That too, that too. OSHA approved? Well, it does have railings. That's good for them. Hmm. Also, there is a... Uh, huh. 
There are only five photos here. So we're going to have to squeeze a lot of juice out of this, my friends. Specifically, I don't know who that is in the poster. Interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. So, you may say, why is it high visibility? Well, I really don't know, but there is some context here. Let me get this straight. Oh! Gun! Sense! Silencers! Guns! Ammo! Gun sense? Like, common sense? Is this a shooting range? That garage better not be a shooting gal- That better not be a shooting range in that garage. <laughs> it's a gun shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting, they- I mean, I'm looking at the price on this. This is absolutely bought on the cheap. It is- I don't know where Mason City, Nebraska is, but I'm willing to bet this may be a one-horse town. That or there's some concerning issues with this place. Assume- I would assume it's in Nebraska. Yeah, mm-hmm. It does fit. Huh. Okay. But we don't see the interior. We have one in a nearby town. They were right next to a charity shop. Oh my god. <laughs> so this first shot- was that the- Yeah, this is the back door here. Okay. Well, actually, no. Th no, this is- well, got the gas. Okay. Which of these is the front door? This guy? I guess this guy's the front door, right? <laughs> I didn't notice the sign. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I guess we're I guess we're in a gun shop neighborhood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Cryptid shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely count that. I forgot. Thank you. I just wasn't caught. I wasn't ready for the really distant, low effort fuck Biden sign. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Huh. Interesting. Don't believe in any gun that accepts metal cartridges that make exception for punt guns. Yeah, punt guns are a wild thing to read about. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, let me see here. Hmm. What's the deal with this place? 45,000 Nebraskan smackers. Great location right off Highway 2. Current use as a gun retail shop. You don't say. Updated roof on house and garage. Furnace new! One out, one out of 23. You gotta find the other 22 pieces to complete this furnace. Mm, I hate a collectathon gun shop. Eh, itty bitty place. Built, ooh, 1920. Oh. Middle of nowhere, 1920. Hmm. Enjoy them. <laughs> Enjoy them, uh, that aluminum wiring, I suppose. <laughs> Gunshot, not the best collectathon. <laughs> Look, it was a simple time back in them days. You wanted something that could stretch out a four hour game across the weekend once you rented it. Okay. <laughs> it's a great location, right by the highway. Love that noise. What was this one? Oh, right, right. Yeah, I'm curious about this one. Okay, hang on. Hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Let me... Stretch. Big stretch. Big stretch? Stretch. There it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Ooh! Ooh! Hold on. That's a friend face! That's a friend face! Look at that, you got your eyes? Got your little, your muzzle? That's a cute garage, I like that! Aw. That's adorable right there. A little critter. Dangerously close to a colon three face, some may say. Okay. Okay. So, there is a mild taper on this. I feel it's very flattering on the second floor. Bit of an hourglass shape. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Tractor? 
something down here. Hmm. Okay. Now, interior. This is, uh... There is a visual tangle here I want y'all to keep your eyes on. Specifically the stairway with these railings. I did not stay on it too long, but in some of the shots, this area becomes a visual what the hell's going on fest. You know what I mean? Okay. Elsewhere in the house, what do we have here? Pretty okay, humblish stuff. It really disorienting. This over here? Yeah, 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 you bet. It's nothing terrible with this place, really. A bit of a head-scratcher to have this wooden love seat here at the table, but okay, okay, it's fine. Hmm. And, yeah, other side of the ground floor, sure. It's, it looks nice. It's otherwise pretty quaint. Carpeted stairs, a little weird. This, <clears throat> actually. Huh. What's the... What's going on up here, actually? This is the edge. Is it, is it just flush against the wall? That's not a walkway there. That's strange. Hang on. I need to see when we get to the second floor what's going on up there. Yep, and there is haunts. Definitely, definitely. Okay, kitchen. Sure. Ooh, the microwave has its own little island. What'd they do wrong? Why'd you banish them? What's that poor little fella stuck there for? Floating stairs? Yeah, 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 look at that. They hunger for toes. They want to trip you. Bare minimum support. Yeah, it's really interesting to look at from over here and just see, yeah, there's nothing connecting this one to this one, nothing going straight down. They're just dangling by these, you know, rods, so to speak. But something that's really getting me is this edge. They've got, uh, the carpeting bevels over to this. And I know you're not supposed to walk here, but I've never seen that. That's very unusual. Huh. Okay. Haunts? Yep, there they be. I want to see what the, where that, what the second floor is like, though, honestly. That's just a small thing. I doubt they have, like, you know, a railing-free drop. It does look intimidating from the ground floor, though. Washer dryer, sure, sure. Hmm, nothing interesting here. Small bathroom, office somewhere. Where are you, office? Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. This is what I was curious about. Man, that is strange. Huh. Like, this was a conscious decision to do this here, and that's what's that's what's losing me. Do they... They lay out the carpet and then add this addition later? No. Huh. It's like, you can't do anything about this right here, really. Why is it off-center? Which part? <laughs> Which part? <laughs> Genuine question. There's a lot off-center here that I can't quite fixate on. <laughs> uh-huh. Right side is more space. Oh, I see what you mean. The supports for the railing. Ooh. Well, it's like they say, measure once, cut twice. I think that's how it goes. A little snug over here. Is there a porch over here? Yeah, there is. There should be a porch around. I remember how the exterior looks, how it tapers. So we have three stories. Okay. Yeah, cute day bed. That's fine. Uh-huh. Hmm. A lot of exposed rafters in this. It's part of the design, I figure, but it's a little strange to see this this much in the house. I don't know. I'm splitting hairs. Yep, there's the oh shit handle. Okay. Ooh. That furnace has definitely seen its fair share of winters. Oh my goodness. Huh. Okay. Musical instrument night table. I must have, I must have missed it, sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Anything else in here? Uh ooh, oh stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a grandparent house. Look at all this stuff. This is the loot corner. Oh my goodness. This is top floor? Yeah, this is attic. Okay. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm thinking back about, like, an office my grandfather had, and he just ended up not hoarding stuff, but just he just put things in there, and it was like this with a bunch of stuff on the ground, too. Like, when he got a little too old, he couldn't use, like, a, uh, like a really old Nordic track of some sort that had a big footprint. But I just remember boxes and stuff everywhere in one room. The access here is a trap door. Hmm. Oh! I didn't see that! Huh. Good spot, good spot. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Can we see an action shot of this closed? I love the Shinmu uh, convenience store music. It's like a weird... It's like a weird legally distinct Don Quixote. If I could pin it to something. Tomato Mart. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, the peeping area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm How high up is this, I wonder? Ah! Uh, that's gotta be like six feet right there, yeah? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm eyeballing this. That's probably about a foot high? Okay. Hmm. The garage. The adorable garage with the heart mark for the nose? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The music buffering. Oh, that finished already. I didn't realize it was that short. Okay. Next compilation. Ooh! Genesis, baby. Get ready for some of them farty FM scents, y'all. Only the best. Wow, that really does taper in a lot, huh? Interesting. Huh. That is really distinctive. I mean, it, it needs a lot of work, but I mean, I kind of like it. It's got some weird, fun stuff. Hmm. As is usual. Not awful. Little... A little bit of a head scratch on some things. 350,000. Alloway, New Jersey. <clears throat> game room? I didn't see no gaming. What are you talking about, game room? You can't put that stuff on here. Hmm. Get me all hot and bothered expected video games, but no, 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 no. Garage the size of the house? It was pretty large. I don't think we had a shot inside the garage, per se, right? Uh-huh. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two bedrooms, second floor, blah, 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 blah. Bring creativity and excitement to make this property yours. Huh. <laughs> Just the upper floor of the garage. Gamer has to go play in the garage. <laughs> That's the only sanctioned gaming area, okay? You play games anywhere else, it's illegal. Let's see. Who was next in my lineup? This one isn't too long. Was there a... Ah, yes. That's why I saved you. Actually, you have several reasons I saved this house. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. And... <sighs> hmm. Interesting. You know they use that Hollywood effect for whenever you're down in Mexico where they slap a brown filter every over everything? This is getting it without any sort of photo correction. Where are we? Seminole, Texas. Hmm. This does look like it. West Texas or Panhandle. I'm not sure which. You, if you go a quarter mile in any direction, you're probably going to find a plant that wants to stab you. I'll put it that way. Uh-huh. Strip mall aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I know there's a Panda Express around here. I feel it. I feel it in my damn bones. <laughs> Seminole should be East Texas. Looking like this? Really? Hang on a second. Seminole, Texas. <sighs> Gaines County. Oh. This is actually pretty far. This is actually pretty far northwest. It's not too far from Midland, Odessa. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty far west Texas. If you think about Texas, that little west-north 
straight line junction on West Texas. This is not too far along the uh, the northern boundary between it and New Mexico. Okay. I would have been really flummoxed if this was East Texas, honestly. <laughs> I've been like, huh? Huh? <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> so. Huh. Well, we had we had strip mall exterior. The interior is kind of a <laughs> kind of a kind of a shitty log cabin. <laughs> Let me see. Hmm. I'm gonna call this for excessive wood because this is a this is a, if it was a full log cabin, I'd be like, sure, okay, but it's hmm. Log cabin brutalism. Boy howdy. Also just pitch black cabinetry. And man, that is so much wasted space. I mean, okay. What could you do with this? Decor, I figure you could do stuff with decor, but otherwise, that is a lot of nothing up there. Jeez. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Huh. What's, what's going on up here? What was this? Uh, there's not a railing. There's not a... There's not a ladder. Uh, I, I don't know if we have a shot up there. Hang on. <laughs> I know it's going to be hard, folks, but please remember the railingless balcony there are doors oh yeah we'll probably get up there but just i know it's gonna be hard to remember but try to remember this little death trap here that's probably gonna be where the railings dangerous drop though it's still kind of a loft and doesn't really project out so i wouldn't call it for balcony oh man what were you used for buddy uh, that's dangerous drop oh my goodness Huh. Concerts. <laughs> ah, the spacious, spacious uh, audience chamber down here. <laughs> huh. Weird. Ooh. Okay, this is a different room. Yep. Bathroom. 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 Closet. Cowboy hats. Ooh. There's my, um, dirt-free, dirt-free cowboy boots, of course. Hmm. Man. This is the kind of person who buys a big-ass dually 4x4 truck and doesn't know how to put it in four-wheel drive or take it off-road. I guarantee it. It's one of the, uh, the drugstore cowboy situations, as I call it. Ooh, six blades. Look at that sucker. Woo! No real cowboy wears cowboy boots. Pretty much, yeah. It just the 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 metric I use. I think about this fella named Wes. I'm sorry. Was it was it Wes or Less? It was Less. I'm sorry. Why am I saying Wes? Probably because West Texas. There's this fella named Less who was a cowboy on the on the farm. He he'd come through every now and again with a shitload of cattle, and this guy was like he was the epitome of a modern day cowboy. I'd say. Just because the guy just, it just, he's like, he's what the measuring stick for what I use for what's a real and a fake cowboy if I'm talking to somebody. And, uh, I hope he retired and is resting. I don't think he's the type who's able to retire. But I remember that dude was like a shambling mess of old injuries and aches and pains. <laughs> oh, poor fella. Real salt of the earth type of guy. I liked him a lot. But man, it's just kind of like it's the only thing he knows. And it's just like, well... I, I wish I could remember. He had he had like a horrific history of back injuries just from nasty falls. And just that stuff starts piling up and up and up and up. And somebody like that's like, well, it's the only thing I can do. And it's just like, oh, buddy. Anyway, here's a Snorlax. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know what he's doing out here in West Texas, but they're having a snooze. They ain't blocking a bridge today, it seems. <laughs> Flat Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> rambling story? Sure, sure. That's enough for a rambling story. Hmm. That's how I want to feel. <laughs> Somebody had a nap here. Hmm. I do love finding a Pokemon in the wild. Hang on a second. I gotta send this to Yo real fast. I think they're at work right now, but... There we go. Complete. Hmm. So, oh, that's weird. Washer and dryer inside here? Huh, okay, that's fine. 
Not used to seeing that, but nothing too weird there. Okay. Oh, the project area. Smoker, of course. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a little too clean in here, actually. It is incredibly clean in here. Wow. I mean, you see you see how much iron there is in the dirt outside. I'm kind of surprised that even if they don't do much in here, I'm really surprised you don't have some stained buildup of, like, the sediment in here, you know what I mean? There's nothing in discoloration here. How old is this place? It's spotless. Weird. Huh. Didn't use it for anything, I suppose. There's the... There's the gun safe, okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, saw that one coming. Saw that one coming. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, I know, I know that stuff. That that rust, that stains. Hmm. Boy. Okay. Four thirty thousand. Why is the floor red? What, the carpet? That right there? I don't know, that's just that's just foot traffic right there. Somebody'd come in, they'd stand right here, I'd imagine. Like it's red naturally. It's just they probably had filthy feet and brought this carpet from elsewhere, if I could imagine. This place doesn't look like it's old enough to have had this much foot traffic, because everything else is clean, but they probably repurposed this rug from elsewhere. If I had to make a guess. You know what I mean? Hum. Four thirty thousand. Seminal. Texas. Country living at its finest. Asterisk. Built in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Soaring ceilings. What about that loft? You have anything about that loft? Uh, master suite overlooking the main floor. That was the master suite? Wait, wait, wait. They said master suite overlooking the main floor. That's the... That's the master suite? Oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> well, I mean, uh let's let's play okay, take a look at this folks. Um <clears throat> the flow of this place is a little weird. That could be a shower curtain we're seeing the top of right here. Imagine this. The bed is oriented against that wall. You wake up, you have to go to the restroom. You have to walk around the danger side to reach the restroom. Boy. That'd be dangerous drop. Oh yeah, we've done... We did... We did... Where's the uh, railing? Hmm. <laughs> because that is... That is fatal, buddy. Woo! No H-O-A. What's the sales history? What, how many pennies was this plot of land? Okay, listed for sale now. It doesn't have previous. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> kitchen sink. <laughs> if you have the equipment and you're able to, sure. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see here. Let me tuck this away. And... Boop. Huh. Okay, okay. How's about... I, I feel like the wood... The wood was a little offensive to our senses, right? How's about... How's about... Uh, a little less wood and more in the, uh, marble slash saran wrap. I know that's marble, but I look at the counter and my brain is thinking, is that saran, I mean, is that aluminum? I'm sorry, not saran wrap, aluminum. It looks very aluminum-y. Okay, so, let me see here. Can we go back to wood? There's some up there. There's some up there. You, you have some joists and stuff. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They got spray painted on? Oh, come on. You couldn't have even taped this up when you're spray painting this shit? Ugh, ugh. Oh, that resin pour table. Ooh, that is a shitty table. Oh my goodness. What on earth? These planks aren't flush, right? The, these are these are poking out of the top, aren't they? If I'm seeing this right, you just have, you know... Like, just, yeah, that... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I love placing my dish on this and having it rock all around. 
<laughs> okay. Well, can we... I want to point something else out. They have a decorative net over folding chairs right here. Like, these are folding chairs they put, like, a net over or a mesh. Huh. Well, I guess if they're out in the wild, this is the only way you can capture them. The chair condom. Yep, yeah, you're not wrong. God, this still looks like aluminum to me. I know it's not, but it looks so much like it. Oh. Put those on shitty chairs for weddings? Really? I'd never actually seen that, you know? Huh. Foiled. Well, they must have gotten a... They must have had a coupon for the resin pour stuff, huh? More of it over here. Hood is just... <laughs> I love it when they have a hood that's not connected to the ceiling. It's like, well, I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying to cover this up, right? All right, just dangling right there. What was my pun? What was my pun? And the little cable is—is is this how they're running the electricity to it? They've just got a little yellow cable here. What? Is this the juice for the for the hood? Huh? I forgot the context for foiled there, but I'll count it. Sure, man. <laughs> Took out the ductwork that left the fan? Hmm. Little confusing. The piano is such an odd choice. It's like, I know, I know there's the notion of trying to sell an illusion of the homeowner, but it's like, this person doesn't know how to play a piano. Hmm. Hmm. Pool, though. Where... Wait, where's the where are the pool where's the pool stick? Where's the billiards? They already packed those bad boys up. Hmm. We've already called barn door, but there's another disgusting one out in the wild. Hmm. Far left corner. <sighs> Maybe. I was eyeballing. That. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Cue ball. How many balls do you need to play billiards anyway? That's plenty, right? Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a stairway? Stairway? Another shitty resin pour table? Great. Oh, they even got on the stairs? Did they buy this shit by the foot? I don't mean the board foot. I mean the actual foot. How much of this shit do they have? Uneven? Oh, you mean the stairway taper? The way the stairway wavers on the right-hand side? Hmm. Hmm. Man. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> ah, I can see the light. Hmm. Second floor looking down, okay. Huh. Oh. Huh. Let's see, mirror reflecting railing. Where's this? This isn't the same place, it's different. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Fine, fine. We've seen... We <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Is that a basin sink? That's a basin sink. That's a basin sink with a really shitty faucet right there. Let me do... Basin sink. There we go. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> Not condone those walls. I'm really thrown off by the texture. The way the light is hitting it here. <sighs> what is. I'm really vexed by this. The way the light is hitting it, it does not look like marble. I'm just wondering if that is like some sort of a. Yeah, it looks plasticky. That does not look right. Hmm. Above the square head shower. Oh, that's just a rainfall shower head. I got one of those. They're pretty okay. Oh! Well, this will this will help dry out your clothes super fast. Look at that. Hmm. I think we're sleeping on this tech, y'all. You're thinking outside the box here. <laughs> hmm. I mean, don't you like clothes that are just out of the dryer and nice and toasty? It's wonderful. Just don't do that with, like, 
pants or anything with a zipper, because I mean, uh, that's a bad experience. How do you feel about Lent fires? We're still in Lent right now. I don't know how I feel about fires outside of Lent typically, but I mean, you know, you do you, right? Let me see here. Uh, just another out of context thing. There we go. Hey, got him. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to think this is the only thing holding up the entire roof. <laughs> Just this one little guy. <laughs> oh, hmm. Almost sent a horrible house. Bet you already have it. It's possible. We'll see. Every glossy surface. Gosh, it is, right? Ah. Oh. I'm really thrown off by the synthetic marble. I don't think that's actual real synthetic marble. It's fake synthetic, you know? Oy vey. I'm good, I'm good. Where are we? Hmm. Halifax, Maine? Ooh, one million! Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Ah. Uh, 1846? And you did this to it? Oh god, those those are old beams. Oh my god. I didn't think about the age of those beams. Wow. Oh my god. I mean, did it used to be a barn and they just did this to it? Beautifully remodeled. I'm not going to yell for obvious reasons, but uh, beautifully remodeled colonial style home. All rooms are spacious and charming. Features newer 30-year architectural roof, updated vinyl windows, combination wood and epoxy floor, updated electrical, heating, and new septic installed 2021. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, Automod's fine. There are forbidden words, like landmines, my friends. Okay. Don't you worry, don't you worry. It's all in good fun. I, I put... I put the... Somebody, I worry somebody who came in on Saturday might have gotten the wrong message or upset because they tripped over a forbidden word. And I don't think they were around when I brought those in. It's it's because folks would say certain phrases or sets of words all the time. And I just thought, you know what? Just give it a one second time out for fun. <laughs> Landmines wasn't forbidden. We don't bring up that word enough. Let me see here. So, let me... So whenever somebody trips that, if they are new, I'm very quick to mention, don't worry. It's a goof. Okay. So, where did I want to go for you? What was this one? Oh, you. Where should you go in the running, exactly, I wonder? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on, y'all. I'm eyeballing the next house. Where am I at? 120. 120. Uh, maybe a little bit later. Let me see here. Okay, okay. So, uh... Behold. 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 Ah, yes. Beholding? You're beholding the cube. <laughs> this is the basement of the alley, Mo. <laughs> it's a pizza oven. Now you're thinking outside the box. Imagine how big of a pizza you could fit in that bad boy. Hmm. Ooh. You could move right in. Look at that. It's a teardown special. Wow. Hmm. No shots of the interior, though. Look, you put down a few non-glazed ceramic bricks, and it'll probably be fine for a pizza right off the bat. The problem is, you don't get the glazed tile. That's when you get the danger chemicals, okay? Hmm. So what's the deal with this place? Wilmington, California. Built in 1871. Oh, even older house bones. Actually, no, what was the last one? Still old house bones. Calling all history buffs. Oh, interesting. Hmm. 
two sections, yada yada. Garden areas developed and a structure can be put on according to city and historical society. Structure itself is a Civil War era powder magazine built in 62 to store powder for the nearby Camp Drum. Aha. Uh -huh. And there's a Wikipedia page. Oh my. Hmm. Current sellers inherit the property that was purchased in the 1970s as a duplex. When the seller wanted to tear the duplex down to rebuild in the 80s, I believe, the powder magazine was discovered and revealed the... Oh! Wait a second. Wait, are they saying that s something was built around this and they were tearing it down and this was right in the center? Like, this was the, cent the, the, this was the nougat center of a shitty house? And they stopped when they saw this, I think? Am I reading that right, guys? 70s went, went to tear the duplex down. It was discovered and revealed. Uh-huh. Sounds like. How do you hide this? I don't know. I kind of wonder what somebody did with that. Like, why didn't they tear it down when they built the duplex way back when? You know what I mean? They just kind of left it there, it sounds. Huh. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Wow. Whoop. Sorry, my, my my humidifier made a pop at me and I was like, oh, they do that. Huh. Okay. Cool listing stuff, though. Okay. Let me tuck you away. Who's next? Ah, uh, you. How many photos are you? 35. What's your thing, buddy? Ooh, 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 ooh. Got some character, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Sure, sure. Hmm. I was a 38 non-functional? Yeah, I forgot to call that first. Thank you. Okay. Now then. Next up. Uh-huh. 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 There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now then. Hmm. You like this? Hmm. Guard those words closely. We got 35 photos to ruin this. Powder magazines used for various private use over the years. At one point, having a structure built around it. The larger structure was torn down. The powder magazine was rediscovered in order to save it. Declared a historical monument. Aha. Uh -huh. More than two decades sat on the vacant lot, faced off two blocks south of the drum barracks. Huh. Love bricks? Well, don't you worry. We're far away from those bricks. Now, oh, drop tile, mirrored entryway. That's fine. That's fine. Uh huh. Ooh, I didn't notice the I didn't notice the vault style door actually. Huh. Safe door? Probably? Probably like a gun safe is built in the wall, maybe? I don't think this comes into play elsewhere in the listing, from what I recalled. <laughs> kind of weird to see the outlets right down here in the trim. Not the first time, but it's a little strange. Used to seeing it higher up here on the actual lower wall. But, well, whatever. Where's this one? Uh... Ross, North Dakota. Okay. So, what else do we have here? Hmm, tile here. Okay. This feels like a repurposed house. It could be. Oh. Bank! Oh, this is a bank! Shit! Okay. Huh. I sped through this for other reasons. I didn't really drink this in when I skipped over it. Yeah, okay. I mean, not really too much of a surprise, I guess, right? We usually do see these on bank houses. Something happened in here, though. <laughs> Huh. Oh, that's just really miserable lighting, I guess, then. Eh, it's a project room. Bank of Ross. This is Ross, North Dakota, so Bank of Ross. Okay. Don't get locked in. That's always the funny thought with these things. I'm like, you know, I'm sure they broke everything that can do that, but I'm always thinking in my head, if I lived here alone and I got locked in here, that's it for me, buddy. What if what if the thing that's been broken for decades suddenly decides, you know what? I got one more in me. I can close this. Hmm. 
Oven, fridge, sure, sure. Nothing too weird. Huh. Huh. Okay. Nothing unusual. Ground floor, a little... Uh, you can clean that up. It's no big deal. Bathroom, sure. Nothing too strange. Yep. 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 Hmm. A little cubby here. Now you can throw stuff in there. Oh, yeah, the basement. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Wooden walls? Okay. Oh. Love me an all-wooden wall basement? Interesting. Interesting. And is that a mini-fridge? I don't know what that is. Could be anything. Who knows? Huh. Okay. A floating basin. <laughs> They're holding it like a baby. It's so sweet. Uh-huh. So what else do we have here lurking in the basement? Oh! A luxurious spa? In my basement? Look at this. Look at this. The bank basement. Cube glass spa. Oh my god. It is like an oasis in the middle of the desert. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Is that a thing hiding up on the stairs? A thing. A thing. Well, that's a ledge. That's a steppy step. I'd say that's ankle breaker. Uh, so I'm trying to... I'm looking at the perimeter of the tub. So this is wood over here. This wood too? Yeah, that's wood too. Okay, I was curious about this. Yeah, they just, they just slapped some, some boards down here. Okay. Let me do Splippy. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Ross, a town of 95 people. It's northwest of Minot, so it's basically an oil country. Ah, I see. It is a one-horse town. Definitely. Huh. Okay. What else do we have here in the basement? Hmm. Yeah, we saw us before. Spray meat above the tub. Oh. I see. Oh, this over here. Ah. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were talking about this, and I was like, is that undercoat? Yeah, I'll count that. Yeah, that's a, that's a house meat and cheese whiz form. Okay, house meat. There we go. Okay. So, actually... Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Another break room? Uh-huh. Bit of a lean over here? Is this tubing or is this piping? I hope that's tubing, right? That's a connect. Huh. Quality lens? Thank you, thank you. So let me see, there's... Brick foundation, it seems? And then there's this right here? Or not foundation. But at least for the load-bearing parts of the exterior, going down into this, distributing into it, I guess? Interesting. Huh. Okay, a little rugged area? Sure. Ventilation. Extra grungy. You know it, you know it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know where this is in the flow of things, admittedly. Ooh. Sound system? Okay, so so this is not basement, per se. I thought it was. But we have a window. Well, maybe on the back side it slopes down. I'm not sure. I was expecting a window at this height. Where the hell are we? In the house? I can't say. In the States, we're in a place called Ross, North Dakota. And also, we're inside of a... Ooh! That's got some vibes. That's got some vibes. Hmm... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, curse turlet. Th this is this is uh, this is somewhat miserable. Also, I should point out, um, there's no sign of an overhead light. There could be one, but I don't see anything, and the light is all coming from behind us. So I'm concerned. Hmm. 
Is the bathroom you're afraid of when you're a child? Yeah. <laughs> Is there even a door? Good question. Oh, but it's got god rays. Look at this. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, actually, no, it's the glare. Okay. <laughs> huh. Well, there's the overhead shot. It seems a lot larger than it really is. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild how some of these seem so massive and you get outside and you're like, huh? That the same place? That the same spot? You know, somebody said it's a town of 95 people. I believe you. I totally believe you. Holy shit, that road. Holy shit, that quote and unquote road. Oh my god. That's not even paved, yeah. That's wild, wow. Huh. Man. Interesting. I mean, is the... Is the road out here even real? Man. Yeah, you're seeing the entire town right here. Gosh. That is interesting. Oh, the back 40? Back 40? It's fun, the wintertime snow removal is probably done with six guys who own equipment themselves and aren't paid by the city. <laughs> Bless their hearts. Man. We never saw this back here. I'm not... I'm not too amped to give it a look, though. Ooh. Ooh. That's it. That's the who's. Hmm. 99,000. Ooh. 1940, A. Eh? Huh. Historic piece of Ross, North Dakota. Originally a bank. Uh-huh. The original vault on the main floor, yeah. <laughs> Where's the sheriff? The sheriff is probably some dude who volunteers further down the road, honestly. Hmm. Offers a plot twist you weren't expecting, Batman. Three non-conforming bedrooms, laundry room, and a full bathroom, complete with a large jetted tub. How will you escape this, masked wonder? No, what do they call him? I forget. I couldn't think of a snide name for Batman. Hmm. Is realtor buzzwords or just weird? Ah. Uh, which one's buzzwords? That's not enough for buzzwords on that, no. Hmm. A plot twist you weren't expecting. Okay, I'll call that for buzzwords, sure. The set of words derailed me enough. Hmm. Oh, we've got repurposed already, don't you worry. Okay. We got it from the magazine, so to speak. Hmm. Hmm. In this context, I really don't know, honestly. There's probably some technical meaning behind it they're angling for. Oh. Let me see. What house am I feeling next? Hmm. It's not? Oh, hang on. Repurposed. Oh, my mistake. I thought I hit that earlier. My bad. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's bingo number five. Ah, uh, auto call time. Whatever you're missing, go ahead and choose it, and it'll get whatever democracy decides will be the winner. Okay, and did I grab a card? Uh, I did not. Hang on. Um, all right, all right, fine. Okay. Ah, uh, let me see. I'm eyeballing where to go next. I got some cool houses, but I'm also kind of gauging what we're feeling right now. Are you... Oh. You're a little goofy. Anything else in this one? Not really. Okay, for... Well, while it's winding down, let me pause Bingo to show you all this one. Because this is actually kind of a sleepy house, but there's one thing that I really, really wanted to show you that's actually pretty funny here. To me, at least. Because I... I'd never seen it. There it is! There it is! Okay. So, let me see. How's the cropping? Cropping seems fine. Good enough. Okay. So, as I'm speeding through here... Hmm. This feels rendered? It is not, actually. It is not. It is very nice, though. This carpet is very interesting. The upholstery on these? Cool. Oh. Well-cared-for stuff. Hmm. Okay. 
So, the thing I'm looking for is about midway into this, so otherwise just eyeballing the furniture. Hmm. Carpet not being flat would drive me nuts. <laughs> okay. Man, there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of grandparent knickknacks all over the place. I kind of like it. Ooh. The ceiling wallpaper is a little overwhelming. There was something going on at the time. Must have been the gasoline with the lead getting into the air that caused people to think this is a good idea. They're big on the wallpapered ceiling and wall situation, you know? It feels too much like an old 90s shooter, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, the wallpaper is a little overwhelming. The, seems the upholstery is trying to match it as well. It's a different pattern, but also white and red, it seems. Aw. Okay, well, let me speed through this then. Dining room? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Nice plush. A reading stand. Interesting. Huh. I can't think of the last time I've seen one of these. It's not for sheet music. Very low sitting, too, oddly enough. Then again, maybe it's able to maybe it's able to poke out a little bit or something. Okay. So. Ah! Here we go. So, uh... <laughs> y y okay. Do you know those old cartoons where they would have, like, a housewife or something, and they'd see a mouse, and they'd pull up their skirts and try to climb on top of a chair? For some reason, that pops into my head here. I don't know why. <laughs> This is way too this is shifted high. And it just looks so strange to me. <laughs> oh man. Genuine question though. Any thoughts on what like what would be the purpose here? This I don't think this is a DIY situation. Storage, I imagine. It sits super high. Like that's very high to climb up to for the sake of storage, right? Like. Huh. Put your trunks under there. Make sure your kids can't leave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like I, I, I'm sure it's for storage, but also it seems like a bit of a, a bit of a hassle. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, well, I, I saved an extra little bit of square footage Jesus here, Christ. but I have to climb up these Frozen damn stairs every day. X one hundred. The Ornstein and snow of beds. <laughs> you don't want to be, you don't want to be under here when the ground pound hits. Okay, it's gonna hurt no matter who's sleeping on it. Thanks for the bits, Pyro. Let's see here. Uh, oh, boy. And, okay, so I should actually wrap up the game. Uh, well, first things first. Um, I am sick, but still. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh, boy. I was close to a second bingo, too. Uh, if Arcade or Pinball Machine had a redeem, I would have had a double bingo, baby. Woo! So, prediction outcome. Choose outcome. The 14%. You got it this time. Who boy. Who boy. Woo! Okay. Now let me see. The bouncer! Yeah. End game. Yeah. And next game. Next game's up. Prediction. Swamp butt. Yo. Swamp butt. There we go. Swamp butt. But that is kind of it for this house. I'll go through these other images, but you'll see that's about hit halfway through, and it's like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's got a lot of cool little stuff deck dotted around. But it's not really worth digging around because we just nickel and dime some stuff, I figure, right? The Ooh. Bouncer. Ooh. Joy. Anything. Ooh, the shower curtain matched this too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is commitment, Grandma. Oh my goodness. That must have taken her so long to find that pattern. Wow. The blue room rules. I mean, there's a lot of nostalgia rolled up in here for me. Little things I can't quite put my finger on. Man, big yard. Nice yard. Very well taken care of. Old swing set. Don't use that. Don't use that. May not be safe. 
Yeah, that yard's gorgeous. My goodness, my goodness. All right. So, uh, just a whisper under a million in Eugene, Oregon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 1943. I see. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Formal dining room, double door access to the living room, French doors. Buh, 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 buh. Don't let this one get away. It's getting away. I'm sorry. Because it's going, going. Whoa. Okay. So who do I want to go to? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. That gets in the whole thing of there's probably an actual... There's probably an HOA. They just probably don't list it there. You know, it's not one of those mandatory things. So sometimes people will hand wave it and be like, eh, it's not an HOA. Okay, hang on, y'all. I'm thumbing through what I have here. Ah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hang on. I got another for you. We haven't been inside of a church in a hot minute, which means it's time for me to burst into flames as we step through the front door. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Boop. Now, this is one that I saved a long time ago. I forgot about, and it crossed my path again in my listings. And I went, oh, I gotta show this guy before I forget again. So, hmm. Can we not go to church? Don't worry about it. This won't be a church much longer. Okay, yep. There we go, there's the... There's the glass thingy. For peeping. The glass peephole of the church. Yeah. I'm up to date on my church vernacular. Ooh. Oh. I can't see where it is. I need an arrow. We're lost. Yep, that's a bridge. Okay. Well, it's kind of fallen by the wayside. Oh my god, the fans. I'm just noticing the fans. Ooh. Why does th this all looks very rusted? And I don't know why. Like this, I could see that being rusted, but this, what happened to the fans? What happened to the fans? I mean, it's like, oh, gee, that's probably wood. And I'm like, I guess, but even this covering? Man. Not a fan? Yeah, I'm not either. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. A little bit of gunch on the walls. A little bit of that, uh... A little bit of the old spirit soaked into them bits. Hmm. I mean, the stained glass is nice. It's got that going for it. Catholic Church, they've always been big on stained glass windows or other such ornate shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sucker for good stained glass. This looks nice. This looks lovely. But everything else... Uh, mm, eh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I guess the question is, can we salvage it, though? This is how it looks now, but I mean, how's about we use a little bit of that old imagination, right? Right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can think things around. A powder room here, a study here, a closet there, a walk-in closet here, a hot tub in the back? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Non-functional? Possibly, possibly. Let me do a redeem, and then we'll get back to this. So let me do a re-purposed. Okay. Non. I don't know if it's non-functional. It is empty and it's abandoned, but it is effectively a house. You know what I mean? It's not like it's missing a roof or a wall or something like that. But imagine the possibilities. This could be the house. Could be. Visible damage? Sure, I'll do visible damage. There's a lot of horrendous gunch everywhere. That's enough to say that some of this stuff has probably seeped into the bones. Hmm. Imagine this. Imagine. All the guests. Is this AI generated? It is not AI generated. I don't know if these are renders. It probably isn't. These are probably photos of a totally different place that they slapped in here, kind of as a suggestion. Kind of like this. I don't know where the hell this is. This could be... This could be in the back. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. 
consider this. Consider all of your firewood. Love storing my firewood 20 feet up in the air. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. Sure, with your shitty chairs. Huh. Not too weird. Oh, no, we got ghosts. Ghosts. Oh, no, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. This was a cursed church. Oh, boy. We don't even... I mean, we... we how, how, do, how do we get rid of these? Are these Catholic ghosts? Are they non-Catholic ghosts? What do we do? What do we do? These are undead cryptids. Whoops. So... Cryptid appeared. The people are added in and post, so it is... Technically... I'm gonna mark this for the Photoshop furniture thing. It is extremely specific, but they Photoshop in a shitload of people in these images. There's a gaggle over here. There's more over here. They're talking about the big deal. The big account they're closing. This one's got a book or a clipboard, I think. Wow, wow. And this is this is supposed to be up where that stained glass is, the entryway. It's practically the same room, folks. Look at this. Oh, they're having a discussion. And there's a kid running right there. That kid's about to run into a chair or something. That kid's about to have... No, is that a dog? No, that's a dog. That's a dog. That's a little guy. I thought that was a bench or a chair. That's a ghost dog. We have the samurai. <gasps> little guy spotted. Perfect, perfect. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus man. Jesus Christ. Mm. Drios and cheered X400. Ooh. Can we coin these things church aminiums? <laughs> We see them a lot. I I really want to know why they have this big thing on repurposing churches of all things. Also, thank you so much for the bits, Driasen. But it's like I had three houses this week that are churches, and I kept I kicked the other ones away because this one was the most interesting. And it's just Jesus like what Christ. the heck, right? Frozen pyro cheered X one hundred. Hmm. This property is now stigmatized property. <clears throat> we must give it a proper spiritual cleansing. Uh oh. Get the Molotovs. Hmm. What do we do about the ghosts, though? Do we get them out first? I'll have to think about this. Thank you for the bits, Frozen. What, this kid's again? Hang on, is this a... Is this a kid from an old internet meme? I feel like I've seen this kid with this posture. He looks very similar to an old meme, doesn't he? He's not the same one, but he looks very close to it. Like, like an old rustic one, you know what I mean? Oh, what's going on over here? Hmm. The ghost kid. He wasn't a ghost in the memes. It's been so many years, though. Huh. So, <laughs> the, the transparency is super low? I don't know what's going on here. Hey, Clonk, how do you feel about moving into a ghost church? <laughs> the Ace Combat 7 dog? <laughs> I would love it if the Ace Combat dog was here, but no, this is a very different dog. Hmm. Okay, very different breed. Hmm. But that is not what it looks like today. Oh, we're, we're back here again? Extra double photos? Double photos? Oh, they went a little hog wild on these. Okay. Understandable. But as a reminder, right now, it does look like this. But I mean, you just have to, you just have to flip the switch and this place is pretty much done and ready to go, right? So, uh, let me see. Amazing property back on the market. Detroit for 400,000? Huh. That's actually a pretty big church. I saw the price, I saw Detroit, and I'm like, ooh, they're usually a lot cheaper, but well, 4,000 square feet. Woo. Let me move this here, sorry. Uh. Hmm. Huh. Detroit become cryptid? <laughs> huh. Listing photos are a mixture. An alchemy, a synthesis of actual photos and renderings. Did we have you fooled? Were you able to tell? The goof is up. <gasps> hmm. Requirements for further information and offer instructions. The idea to make the people, like, 10% opacity is very funny to me. You know what I mean? I feel like they could have had them fully opaque or maybe lightly transparent, 
but they made them so, so, so faint. It's like they have to look like ghosts. No HOA? I mean, it's depending upon where in Detroit it is, it's kind of a... Kind of just the state of Detroit, I'm afraid. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, where are we at? Ten minutes for the break. What am I feeling? That's a lot of photos for this house. Let me see. Facebook. Do I want to show this one? A rare Facebook offering. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to show this one. I got to show this one. Folks, it is a rare occasion. We have a listing from Facebook. The cursed website of websites. Actually, nowadays, it's kind of a broad descriptor, isn't it? Super rare, though. We haven't had one of these since, like, a skeleton boat. And in that case, I saved the JPEGs. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. So, uh... Yeah? Okay. A Miss Skeleton Boat? Skeleton Boat will come back. It'll be back around the same cursed time of year, right? Okay, so a bit of a mirror hell thing here. So let me... Man, I love this sound font. The sound chip, rather, so much. Hmm. Let me do, uh... Mirror hell room. Yeah. Okay. What's that near the center? Oh, that is a cryptid. Ooh. Huh. Good call. Didn't see that. Okay. Ooh. All wood closet. We've already got cryptid, I believe, right? We did that last game. Did I miss the check? No. Okay. Just check it. Okay. Hmm. Stairway up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're doing a repainting. This is the washer-dryer unit. Oh. A little bit of a... <laughs> I love tricking my guests. I love making them just break an ankle randomly. <laughs> Vent into stair rail. Did I miss something back here? Vent into stair rail. Hmm. This right here? Ah. I actually didn't notice that. I don't know what that is. Is that an actual vent? Huh. No, above the buckets. Well, yeah, this is the this is the washer dryer. This would be the exhaust for the dryer right here. Here's the hookup for the washer right here. And this is the what is it? 240 whatever the heck whatever the heck that other voltage is. But this guy right here, ooh. That's an ankle breaker. I need to know where this is in the house, honestly. I kind of like this idea that you just randomly trick your guests, right? <laughs> 240, thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, that's the bathroom, I believe, we were in earlier. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, we got restaurant-style flooring. Oh! A fire pole? A stripper pole? What's this? What's this? <gasps> An interesting occurrence. However, however, you cannot believe what you see on the internet. It's all about framing and lighting because as you can see, my friends, it stops right here. Disappointing, disgusting. Jesus oh Christ. Hmm. Frozen Pyro cheered X100. Oh. Portal warning. <gasps> I repeat, a portal warning has been activated. No! That's how we got in here. That's how we're gonna get out. Thank you for the bits, Pyro. Thank you. But also, I love the framing of the shot because I got to this and I'm like, ooh, where does this go? And then, oh, it, it's just right there. That's it. Miserable. Mediocre. Yeah just totally deflated my enthusiasm. Why is it there? I really don't know. I mean, I know the obvious answer is, oh, for decor, but also it's just like, wh what's the purpose? It has like this little relief cut right here. There's probably one on the other side that mirrors it, but we can't see it. And I'm not really sure why it's there. Hmm. Looks bad. It does. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Oh, you just got a studio light tracked on the shower head, it seems. 
Huh. Ooh. Hmm. Collecting the uh, jungle juice right here, I see. That's a fine flavor right there. Okay. Ooh, another bathroom? It looks... It looks dusty. It looks dusty. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Where's the turlet? Where's the turlet? Hm. That's strange. There's nothing in this ca There's nothing in here. It's just totally empty. How bizarre. How bizarre, right? Hmm. Have the light bathroom, the dark bathroom. <laughs> I, mean, I feel that's what the church was missing, right? <clears throat> is this the beginning again? Yes, that's the beginning. Well, I'm sorry to say this is a rental. Syracuse, New York. nineteen fifty a month. I don't know anything about Syracuse, New York. Renting this for about a 2000 Not the worst, but also, I don't know what else is like. Yeah, we marked off Cryptid already. Let me see. One year lease. Ew. Oh, that's a little too long, I feel. Hmm. Okay. Anything interesting in the description on the side? Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting in the description. No, nothing in the description. Okay. Let me tuck this away, then. And, oop. Okay. Uh, I think it may be time for the midway break, y'all. Ah. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Boop, 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 boop. Where is the... Let me briefly pull up words on stream again. I should start doing that on breaks just to give y'all something to idle away at. So... Let me do this. Yeah, uh huh? Swap out the browser source. Yeah. Whoops. Nope. Not that. Properties. Wow. Wow. There we go. Mr. President is steaming on, t steaming up in the window. Yeah, yeah. He'll get in eventually. Don't you worry about that. That's the power of the presidency. Regrettably. Okay. Be back in like five minutes. Go ahead and stretch your bits and bobs, friends. And I'll seize you in a few. Start! Game! Go! Uh.
the bouncer. I was about to say that. Actually, no, I wasn't. Hello. Hello. Hmm. I realized. I realized. A little, a little, a little diet soda may help the voice a little bit. Ugh. So. Headphones. Please. Please. There we go. There we go. The price master. There he is. Oh boy. Overthrow the government. No. I'm benevolent and kind. Mostly. Ooh. What is this? Oh, it's Kroger brand Diet Dr. K. <laughs> Actually, is this one an actual doctor? Hang on. Ah, sorry. Are you an actual doctor? You are. It's not a mister, it's a doctor. Hmm. Okay, okay. Hmm. Overhand throw? The government's so massive, it's got a long arm. I can't deal with that long arm. Actually, no, that's the law itself. Hmm. So, do with the tax estisipies? I'm maintaining the, the roadways and stuff like that. <laughs> hmm. The fact you ask, the, the fact that you have to ask that tells me how little you are aware, my friend. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, hey. I found that on a few houses in the past, I would keep them in my pocket and I never have a use for them. But since kind of leaning heavily onto the bingo pause thing, I feel like, I feel like I can go through a few quick backlog houses that just have a couple little funny things in them. As opposed to slowing down the stream with something that's 60 images and has one good bit. I'd like to just blast through it like this. Okay. So, let's see here. This one was on the market a couple times. So there's some photos from the most recent, and there's some photos from the previous. Now let me see here. Let me scrungle this down a little bit. Okay, okay. So, whoop, 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 whoop. A casa. It is! It's very nice. I like it. This is a little weird and off-centered, but hey, whatever, whatever. I'll let it slide. Combs that got, like, sore thumbs. A little bit, a little bit. It's It, it has a nice flow to the driveway. The rest of the house is kind of asymmetrical with this, but, well, whatever, whatever. I'm just picking out things. Ah, it's a lot of... A lot of still water. Man, I forgot how big this place was. Hang on. Ooh, that's big. That's big, actually. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, there is a, uh... An inner oasis slash pool. Also, where does this go? This isn't pool access. This is to a, a sub-level? Huh. That's strange. Green juice? Yeah, it's full of ecto-cooler. Hmm. There it is! You see it? Woo! Still right there, I think. Or is it over here? I've lost sight of it already. Hmm. Okay, okay. I was hoping it was a saltwater pool. We don't know anything about it quite yet. Maybe? I don't know. This is big money. So, I mean, if they said that, I'd be like, well, sure, whatever. Huh. It seems like, a, is this like a waterfall fixture situation? They've got shut off here? Huh. Oof. Okay, well, they've got a lot of gunch that's gotten in the water, it seems, judging by this over here. Oh! It's got a sign! Guess sweet. Okay. Hmm. Nice, glossy ceiling here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Inside the main entryway? Ooh. That's another take the shot 47 situation right there. Huh. Also, ooh. That's strange. What is the flow of this house? Interesting. And this... Is this a bed or is this... No, 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 no. This is... Blinds? Hmm. We don't get a better angle on this, I don't think. 
Okay, kitchen. Ooh, boy, that's a lot of glossiness. That's a lot of gloss. Ooh, boy. Hmm. <laughs> Shitty p- Look at this. Check out the TV position angle here right there. Yeah, yeah. Who's watching this? I don't know. Someone with neck problems, apparently. Huh. Okay. Ooh, the fingerprint magnets in here. Oof. 12-inch LCD? Uh, probably. That is pissant. Okay. So, but that's not why we're here. That's not why we're here. Ooh, butler's pantry? Okay. Huh. The door's doing a bit of a mean lean. But, that's fine. That's fine. Master suite? Alright. This is next to the pool? Yeah, okay. Huh. This big. Gaudy, but it's about what we expect. Another with these... Okay, this has got to be for something elsewhere in the house. This is another one of those little LCDs. I don't know if this is like a thermostat thing. Maybe it's con maybe it's like a really specific thermostat access with a touchscreen or something like that. Because it's here in the master suite as well, as well as the kitchen, and probably elsewhere. Telecom or that. Ooh. A little bit of a nanner yellow tub. Okay. Hmm. Also, wow, these are... Those are some tall doors. Holy shit. Look at that. Good God, is that like an... That's a tall door. Oh my goodness. Huh. Got an extra foot on them. Jesus. Okay. Now then. Is it tall? Narrow or tall? Well, this one's narrow, but I mean, I'm looking at them here... And it's just, I feel like this is typical door height, just based off the patterns and the cuttings. It just, these seem super high. Maybe it's visual. Maybe I'm thrown off. But this, maybe it's just throwing me off because of this pattern here. Okay. Well, anyway, anyway. That's not why we're here. Ooh, neither is the shitty wooden floor. Oh god, that's, I've got some of this in my den. It is a shitty laminate. This starts, uh, there are parts of this that cannot bear weight anymore, and they start wrinkling, and the whole laminate layer starts flaking off. This is shitty flooring. I can speak from experience. I have stuff just like this. It pisses me off, because they sell it as full hardwood. It's not. Ooh, something happened here. Or no, that's rain from the light. That's rain from the light. Okay. Hmm. That gap? Ooh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Adds character. Hmm. Okay, okay. But, seriously, still not there yet. There was a pool here. It is gone now. Look at that. You can still see the tracks of the beast. Boy. Such behemoths used to wander these lands. Long gone. How depressing. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even spring for a Pizza Hut light. Shameful. Ooh, kitchenette billiards room. I noticed. I can read the tracks. Ooh, it's the spa. That is a carpeted bathroom. If we weren't paused, that'd be a carpeted bathroom. But it just has a really shitty tub over here. Okay. Okay. Red room? Sure, sure. Oh! I'm sorry, this is the party room! DJ room? Party room? Thoughts? Thoughts? I don't know if it says what this room is. Hmm. I see they have the light effects on. Light effects are going good. They have the, uh... The lamp with the, uh, the shade off. Okay. Karaoke, you can do anything you want in here. Conceivably? Hmm. Wild parties. <laughs> The prosperity gospel? No, no, no. So, there aren't many good photos of this. But I did mention there are listings from when this was last on the market. So let me scrub ahead. These are the old photos. From what you can see, the water is still is still a hail and a hearty blue. Okay. Oh, good old Drenlin. You think Drenlin played here? I would love that so much. Here's another shot of the party room. Huh. They don't have the stage unit up there. 
Oh yeah, wine cellar, definitely. This place is like, uh... This place is 12 and a half thousand square feet. We don't get too many photos. This place is huge. There are a lot of rooms we are not seeing. But that's the only thing. Oh, there's the billiard room. But we don't get any other shots of that room as far as I can tell. Yeah, this is loop back to the beginning. 2.2 million. Tampa, Florida. Uh-huh. Auction. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Anything else interesting here? Yeah, the basement party room had that uh, laser tag vibe that I keep going back to, where it's like, ooh, this is run by a couple college students. Hmm. Something bad happened here? Presumably. Here's a list of features. I don't know if I want to read through all this, admittedly. Somebody lost on crypto? Probably. Huh. If anyone wants to fish through the description, <clears throat> I can slap that in there. If anybody wants to read through it, for the sake of brevity, I'll speed past it, though. Was there anything here about history? Okay. They're trying to get around two to three million. They started here at three, and they've been walking it back. Sold. Well, this might be a typo, right? No, sold. Okay, it did sell. I'm sorry. What music playlist? Uh, this should be from Setting Out Elemental Master. This is actually... Let me see a second. Because this is a track I've heard elsewhere. It's a very nice, uh... Very nice track that plays during the credits. Hmm. I think I've used it as one of my one-off debut bit thingos. Hmm. Ooh, Staghorn, welcome back for 20. My goodness. It's Cool Staghorn just subscribed for 20 months. Mm. 20 months of bingo and bad houses. Yep, yep, regrettably. Welcome back. Thank you for the 20. Let's see here. Well, they did sell at least. Okay. Wasn't this place like... Wasn't the list price like 4 million? It says 3 for the initial down here. Z, Z estimate at the top is like Calvin Ball logic. And that says almost five, but that's kind of like some weird, some weird algorithm crunches that. I don't know how. So that's usually like a forgettable number unless there is nothing else to go off of. <laughs> I've not seen this house. It's on the far, on the far north side of the Gandhi Bridge. I never went that far. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see here. Tuck that away. So let me unpause. Bingo. Okay, I've got at least the next two immediately picked out. At that point, I will see what the final stretch of houses look like, and I made a rifle round for a minute, depending upon that. Because I think I've got three or four for the final stretch. I need to see how many photos those have, so I know I don't over or undershoot it. 40. Images. Yep. Okay, okay. Haunted. Oh boy, humidifier, boy howdy. Ooh, that sucker's working so well. I never needed one before, because, I mean, I kind of live in a swamp. But man, this morning in particular, I was just like, is this what it's like to have dried up sinuses? Oh god, breathing gives me such an ache. Ooh. Hmm. Boy, I got that sucker right to my right, just blowing right into my face. Ooh. Oh! What's going on here? Hmm... Which one are we going into? We going over here first? Okay. Necronomicon? No, you have to lift up the floorboards and go into the basement to find it. I don't think we have a basement here. So, uh... <laughs> uh, there are boards here, I think, inside the front door, so... Not boards. Okay, that is that is the door. Okay, my my mistake. So this is inside the front door. Uh <laughs> I'm trying to think of what happened in the order of this house because I think there's some rooms that are in the middle being flipped, and this place big time looks like a haunted house at times. So uh, built in 2020. <laughs> Yeah, somebody somebody really wanted to hit that rustic aesthetic nail on the head, right? 
Those stairs used to be way steeper. <laughs> okay, so... Side room, okay. Okay. Newer windows. Ooh! Man, the doors, though. Boy. Some saloon doors. I feel like that'd really help with this place, though... There's a little too much gunch down here for my liking. That's probably just the paint wearing off, although, uh... I have concerns about the quality of the wood here, you know? Nice chandelier. Man. They need to really repaint this before showing people, but they were like, ah, it's fine, it's fine. Look at the fan in nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. I mean... Honestly? One thing I would have to say here is the... If this fan still works and the bearings are shot, imagine how much noise this fucking thing goes. Or makes when it starts going. Just... And squeaking at high speed. Oh yeah, the little lampshades are cute. I, my, my, my mother... Um, over the... My, my, my folks, I should say, over their dining room table, they've got a chandelier that has itty-bitty little lampshades like this, so I, I didn't even... I didn't even register on that. I'm like, oh yeah, my parents have something like this. It's not with not with not with an actual fan attached though, but the itty bitty little lampshades are cute. Huh. A little weird. Hmm. So doors of access. Relatively newer appliances. Not too bad. Door here, door here. Some art piece over here? Hmm. Huh. I wonder how old the electric the electrical is. <laughs> I like the recessed lights. <laughs> huh. Let's see. So this is inside the kitchen. Still. Uh-huh. Okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's got promise. Uh oh. Eh? Oh, we can see access to a tree. Ah, that's my f that's my favorite tree right there. Okay, this is the washer dryer hookup again. It seems. Okay. Huh. <laughs> it's funny. I was looking at this for a second. I'm like, is this boarded up? No, those are trees in the distance. There's just a tree right here. <laughs> oh! I knew there was something haunted in this house. That's a basin sink. Already done basin. No, that was the first game. Disgusting. Hmm. A little bit of damage from presumably the fireplace being used, but that's okay. Man, what a weird sense of priorities here. Those hips on the mirror. <laughs> a wooga. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, just a little bit. Hmm. Burning stove for old world tech. Wood burning stove? Not particularly. That's still pretty common in some parts of the states, I figure, right? Okay, wooden floor. And suddenly apartment tier shelving. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. I love the juxtaposition of what they're prioritizing on the flips. Like, this looks like it was resurfaced, just from how much sheen there is to it. Or it's just new entirely. They had this on the side of the stairway, too. Most of the doors look like pure dog shit, though. Like, even this, even this right here, this looks, this looks atrocious. Oh. Okay. So, what else do we have in here? This is the second floor already. God, what is going on with this door? <laughs> hey. I think the door needs a little TLC. I think something may have happened here. I think there may have been a, a bit of a whoopsie and a snap right here, because, uh... These suckers don't line up. Hmm. Maybe it's a trick of the lens. Maybe it's a trick of the lens. Let's not worry about it so much. Huh. Okay. Ooh, suddenly modern bathroom? Sure. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
It's salvageable, but what about this house? Do we go in here? Do we go in here? This one looks like pure, pure dog shit. Hmm. No? 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 Nope, that's the road. There it is. We ain't going in there. I want to know what's going on in there. We're right near the biggest of witch houses and we can't go in. Piss. Hmm. The bright red nose of the chimney. I was wondering what happened there because there was an earlier shot where we saw this. Like, did they just paint some new exterior covering on that? Because I was not sure if it was really that bright in an earlier photo and I definitely see it here now. Okay, so this is Sanford, North Carolina, 325,000. Uh, 1880. Wow, we got a lot of old house bones tonight. Mm. Let me take a drink while I scour this with my peepers. Hmm. Three acres. I'm willing to bet you're buying this for the dirt. <clears throat> as much as I love the character of the house, it's going to take a lot of work to fix that up. Hmm. 100% bail on the flip? Definitely, definitely. Like, I'm surprised. It looks like they might have they might have done something with electrical to get it working to a semi-modern standard, but I actually don't know. If it was brand new, if it was brand new electrical, they probably would have set it down here. So, I guess they just slapped some new face plates on the plugs and they were like, yep, sure, fine. Hmm. Okay. Maybe... Maybe something a little different. Maybe... Maybe a postage stamp sized photo. I'm gonna have to stretch this boy out. I'm really gonna have to I'll be I'll be looking off OBS for this sucker. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well no, unhand me. Okay. So uh What's the deal here? What's the deal here? Move this around. Uh, huh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got diamond plate again? Ooh! We're back at the cra craftsman chest aesthetic. And they aren't leaning into the bright red, unfortunately. I have to dock them points for that. <laughs> nice blades on the fans. Actual blades. Ooh! Nice brickwork. <laughs> it really is really fucking weird. <laughs> God, this looks like... This doesn't even look like it's attached here. It just makes me feel like it's just braced. <laughs> the Home Depot counter color palette. Yeah, Home... It, it is luxurious. It is called Home Depot. Wow. Hmm. Man, why... Why red and white? That is such a peculiar aesthetic here with everything else. Just wanted a fan right there, I suppose. Ooh. Okay, okay. A few things. Kitchen area. Okay. This guy. What? Why do they have a water pump on this? Wait. Is this just a secondary sink they dolled up, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Huh. I don't like this house. Could you show us a different one? Sure, I'll show you a different house. And about 22 pictures. Huh. Okay, also, it kind of walked on me. Hang on here. You should be able to see the number of photos here. I want you to perceive all these pixels. Okay. Barn doors again. Yee. Let me see. Have I already redeemed barn doors this game? Uh, <laughs> I have not. Okay, let me do that. Huh. Ooh. We got some wall decor. A lot of license plates? License plate wall bathroom? It's an odd aesthetic. It's an odd aesthetic. Huh. Hmm. I still think of the old biker-themed uh, urinal that we saw in the past. Where they just had, like, the uh, the throttle and steering up at the very top. It's very, very charming. Ooh. The water trough tub. Hmm. Look at that. 
<laughs> okay, okay, what... It, it, is there water in there? Is there water in there? It looks a little gunched at the bottom. Also, I don't know... I'm having thoughts about the water fixture there. I'm not a fan of it, I gotta say. I don't know, maybe I'm being too particular. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Red Robin aesthetic. Yeah, I guess this is kind of... De this is this is detracted from the, uh... The Cracker Barrel vibe. Hmm. Mm hmm Is that a lantern? What is that, actually? Huh? Just another light? It's a little tiny already, so this is about pretty darn large already. Hmm. Curious. Okay, yeah. Kind of a weird lantern thing. They just have a bulb inside of a, an old coffee can, it seems. Huh. Okay. Andre? No, laundry! Oh, I, th I thought it said Audrey or Andre for a second. Yeah, that's the washer-dryer hookup. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, perfect place to do my Andre. Why this green color? Why barn doors? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, huh? You're not even going to cover this up? You're not even going to cover this up? Jesus. I mean, I know it's a weird place for me to get... This place is already so tacky, but I mean, come on, come on, come on. Everybody's gonna see this. Eh. Eh. Sliding door. Is this another bathroom over here? Oh! Two of them. Oh! You can only open one at a time. I see, I see. Hmm. These are probably closets, but I'd like to think that these are... I, I love the idea of this possi- I know it's not, but I would love for this to be two opposite bathrooms, and both people have to go out at the same time. They just end up bumping the doors to each other as they're sliding. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is a Resident Evil thing. You have to put in a key to move one of these. You cannot take it out until you move it back to the original position. So you have to commit to one and then come back and undo that. Hmm. I'm already using all eight slots up my inventory. How can I work this out? I have to run. I have to run back to the storage chest again. Pick the right one you want to commute. <laughs> For a second, when you said when I saw the word goat in there, and I thought it was going to be a joke about a Resident Evil key or something. I saw a car, and I went, "Oh wait, no." Hmm. Anything else? Oh, the window frame is like cut off top of like a basin rim. Oh. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Ooh, there's the kick plate right there. Wait, does it... Did they block in a... Did they block in... A goblin? Usually, there's a goblin door here for access to the goblin or also the plumbing. Wow. They welded them in. Oh, my God. How depressing. There's one the other side. Oh, no! They're trapped in there. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna call a goblin door. That's usually a good spot for a goblin door, but they opted not... They opted to trap them in there. Man. I hope somebody contacts the authorities. You gotta let them little dudes out. Eh? Okay. Odd color. Hmm. Uh, I've never been good at puzzles in these survival horror games. Oh boy, oh boy. What knob? What knob? We'll come back to this later. I think my inventory is too full. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yep. No. No. I'm good. Let me see. Let me stretch this back out. Alright, yep, yep, and yep, yep. Back to listing. Where is this situated? That 
Gallipolis, Gallipolis, Ohio, Gazimos. 2018. I believe it. I believe it. Hmm. Uh huh. What do we got in here, description wise? Hmm. 3232 Metal Barn Carport. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Minutes away from downtown, I see. Hmm. That's the funny thing about Barnuminium. There are no rules, so technically every Barnuminium we've seen has been unique. You know what I mean? It's like there is no connective tissue. Every single one is like fucked up in its own weird way. Hmm. Okay. I mean, case in point. Do I still have this sucker in here? You want to see another one that's technically Barncore or Barnuminium or whatever the heck we want to call it today? Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to show this one, but I mean, we're already on the we're already on the topic. Oh no, price spoiler. I mean, we had one not too long ago that was very similar to this actually. The connected silo experience, conjoined silos. Yeah, take a look at the price. 2.7 million on this sucker. Where are we actually? Emmett, Idaho. How much acreage is with this? This has got to have a shitload of acreage with this. Like, I don't know how much... I don't know how much the potato barons are demanding, but 2.7 million for... four bed, three bath on this? Huh. Idaho, yeah, it's got to have land. Definitely, definitely. There's a... You can grow so many taters on this thing. Okay. Well, let's see. I'll go relatively snippy through this one. Since we've kind of... We kind of already... Don't know, this looks fake. No, it's real. Welcome to the... This feels like an eatery. This feels like a shitty eatery out here. But then this... This is the fireplace, I think? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is trash. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Brew pub 1000%. I like this. Would you like to live here is the question. Because if you have 2.7 million, you could. You could. Hmm. Can work with this? I can respect it. You're you're a braver person than I am. Okay. Hmm. Stairs or what is this? Uh. What is this? Hmm. That's not a cement. Is that cement? Some sort of a some sort of a slate or slab or something? I don't know. I don't know. It ain't wood though. Hmm. So, kitchen. Kitchen seems kind of nice. Kitchen out of context without me seeing this over here. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be okay with this. This is fine. This is great. Hmm. 8% cement and stainless steel. Pretty much. Pretty much, cowboy. Okay. <laughs> the illusion of escape. <laughs> I like it when... Okay, we've had a few places where hoods go very high up and they sneak out the fact they don't have, like, exfiltration. This one's not even trying. I love that. It's like, yeah, whatever. It's fucking... I guess it's got a light on it. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Otherwise, the kitchen's nice. It's fine. Oh, what's this? Uh, six days you shall labor. On the seventh day you shall rest. Hmm. Curious. Pokemon Arp, what are you doing? Cassette Beasts? That's the Pokemon game. How you doing? How'd the stream go? We're in the middle of looking at this wonderful dine-in experience. Which could be yours. For the low, low price of $2.7 million in Idaho. Went great? Wonderful. Welcome in. And we're just kind of chipping away. We were on a house that looked like a... It called itself a unique... Barn Dominium experience. Does a picture come to mind when I when I say a Barn Dominium experience? Because the belief I've had is there is not a defined rule set. That's kind of why we vaulted to this one, which is like a, a couple of repurposed grain silos for far too much misery. The book they weren't inside of a silo. That was that that was a that was a cabin in the woods. I remember the the cover of the book, and I will judge a book by its cover. Not this. That's fair. That's fair. So, uh... 
What else do we have in here? Because we've only seen a small smackerel of the place. Uh. Wait, this is going into... This is part of the adjo adjoining house structure. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Not Missouri, Idaho. <laughs> was Missouri... Wait, was was Misery in Missouri? Oh, Misery... Oh! I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Finger guns. Huh. Okay. Spiral stairs, a little bit of a, a loft situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The eatery vibe of that initial room is super strange to me. Bike? Sure. Keyboard? Great. Office? Fantastic. This guy. This is right above that eatery area. So this is basically your chimney. <laughs> Do not touch this when it's in use, by the way. It may be a little spicy. Hmm. Hmm. Boy. Oh. Okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting tile work here. Huh. What else do I have here? Oh, I think we probably redeem this from Michael's. We've seen that in one room. Let me see here. Michael's. There we go. Yep. Mm-hmm. What else is going on here? That's your tub? Ooh. That's your tub? What's going on here? Is this a fracture? Huh. Is it just a cement pour? Wide? Yeah. Hmm. Ain't nobody stealing that tub from you, buddy. Sucker's hefty. <laughs> Uncentered shower head. <laughs> Oy vey. Huh? Thoughts? Comments? Snide remarks? Okay, well, I mean, we talked about in the previous house a Resident Evil style puzzle. This is another Resident Evil puzzle. Exactly. Petty's got it. See? This is easy. You gotta figure out how to play Moon Knight Sonata with the I don't know the chimes these things make. You have to dumb fire it too. And then later they ask you about a Shakespearean play or something. I don't know. One of those weird things. Mmm. Right next to this. Which one turns to a Jill sandwich? Oh, I'd rather not spoil it. That's for the that's for the players to find out. Floor two. Oh, it's so small. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh. That's the exterior. Oh, roof access? Roof access? Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. What else? Haunts! That counts for a little guy. That counts for a little guy. Oh, we've already redeemed little guy. Do love spotting the haunts, though. Good little fellers. <laughs> Live in Idaho, so you're a nut job with a gun. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. All that dirt. Woo! Okay. Okay. So what's the deal? Open to below. What's going on with this place? The price is very high. 4.9 acres. I was expecting more for the price tag. Open house Super Bowl. Huh? quintessential Idaho property incorporates all that makes Idaho magnificent and free. It ain't free, it's 2.7 million fucking dollars. Hmm. Most beautiful view in Treasure Valley. Huh. Must see silos room dimensions are the widest length width with curved walls. Hmm. I am missing something here. I'm definitely missing something with this price tag. Huh. Weird. Okay. So. Tuck you away. So let me see. Hour 20. Which of these did I want to go to? Let me... Give me a second, y'all. In fact... 
in fact. Hang on. Probably enough time for a words on stream game, right? I'm not going to mute myself, but I mean... Miss Squaw Butt and Bogus Basin. Hmm. Look, you gotta do a lot of squats, a lot of squats, to, to get a squaw butt. Squaw butt. Okay, words on stream. I'm still gonna be here, but just because I will be looking at... This is the thing I miss. I mentioned where I would be kind of flying by the seat of my pants on something here. I need to see how much time I need on these final few houses. So there's probably enough time for like a game. So give me a second here. Uh, I kind of wanted to jump to one of these next. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. There's the problem is because I've got a lot I'm behind on. And I'm kind of like, which ones do I really want to prioritize? Oof. Maybe. Uh, this guy. Are you okay? A little weird. Another Barnuminium. I don't think we need to see another Barnuminium. I think we kind of got the idea. I'll save you for another time. There's always going to be more barns for us to peruse. Not a silo, though. Regrettable. Uh, what was with this place? A little bit of a shitty flow. Not very interesting otherwise. <clears throat> Are you near the closing block I wanted to do? Maybe. Oh, I could save you as a filler. This guy. Okay, this is the start of the closing block. Yeah. Let me see. Probably do one, then go to the closing, maybe? What was this guy? 19 images, not too bad. Okay, okay. You... How many photos? 32, okay. Fourth of the final hour. You, you're the one I want to end on, right? Yeah, okay. So four here, this guy here. Okay, okay, I think I got something. I think I got something. Let me... Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. It was about to start the next game, but I think, I think I've got enough lined up here. How's about something a little quirky as soon as I can where's the no no words on stream not you yes you chrome hmm. how do you like windows not the OS how do you like these windows hmm. mushroom window mm -hmm, mm -hmm. definitely doesn't look like anything else don't worry about it don't worry about it so <clears throat> What's the deal here? What's the deal here? <laughs> System tray icon? Yeah, this is your Wi-Fi. I don't know if this is all good or all bad. Who knows? Ooh, boy. A lot of natural light in this sucker. Look at this. Hmm. Okay, what else is going on here? Hmm. Hmm. This is... Uh, Exposed. Okay, so this is a breezeway. Yeah, this is a breezeway, because I wasn't sure. We don't have a roof over our heads per se. A little tiny covered area, like a gazebo. A pseudo gazebo? I don't know. Okay. Doorway in the house, grill, stuff like that. Don't know how you feel about these mismatched windows. Well, I have grave news. Oh, what's it say? Telephone. Oh. Nice hodgepodge of glass pieces. I like the sun and moon. I like these boys. You get along great. Hmm. Okay. Now, I feel like part of this was like... This is probably an expansion onto a house, if I had to guess. I say that because this right here feels like about where they started this whole different decking expedition. Especially because this is... This is laminated or sandwiched right in here. So, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, outdoor entertainment area. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm, got a bit of a sag here, but that's okay. That's okay. What if rain? Don't worry about it. Be humble. Be humble. Near my fucked up windows. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. 
messy here. Uh-huh. Let's see. Fireplace. Okay, I'm not sure where this is. This is mirror? Why do you have a mirror up here? They have a mirror peeking out the skylight. Or the roof window, whatever you want to call it, you know? That's strange. Huh. <laughs> Reflect the light, light reflection? I guess. Oof. The glare. I'm not too crazy about that, honestly. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Directly on the stove? Yeah, I guess. Gotta heat the food somehow, right? Okay. Now, kitchen. What do we got going here? I kind of want to know the hit. I There's a lot of really quirky, weird stuff in this house that fits together like disparate parts. It's one of those where I really want to know what the history is with it, you know, right? Big cube glass. Ooh. Yeah? That does look like cube glass. Huh. Let me see here. Where is my thing here? I'll call that for cube glass. I'm pretty sure those aren't screens. I think that is actually glass right there. Void on the left. Oh, you mean this over here? Don't worry about that. That's just a bit of the HVAC sneaking its way through here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Carpenter chest style red. Or craftsman, I'm sorry, not carpenters. Hmm. Okay. Action shot of the fan. Love that, love that. Okay, where... Hmm. That's window, not mirror. Now, I'm not sure what the plan is with some of these. That is a shot into some higher room? Or, no. Well, we don't know if there's a light up there. Ah. Uh, curious. Okay. Maybe we'll figure out. Okay, so... Not the best sink, but whatever. They're trying to stay consistent with this red, I guess. Uh-huh. Clear goblin door or wine rack? Who can say? This is a loft, right? Or is this just for lighting? It, it, no, actually, this is just a loft for these lights for decorative purposes, right? I don't see a doorway past those. Perspective's kind of messing with me, sorry. Uh, maybe storage loft? Possibly. Ooh! Interesting. Okay. Cute storage. Uh, the lighting is messing with me. A, a number of hooks, it seems? I guess for hanging plants and stuff. Man. Weird track light placing here. Here as well, okay. So, what is... Okay, this is back to the entryway. Entryway's right here. Yeah, there's a lot. The, photo, the photographer's kind of moving all over the place, so it's kind of hard to parse where we're going. Kind of like with that shot above the fridge, where I'm like, is this a mirror or is this a window? If it's a window, where's it peering into, right? Let's see. Uh, okay. A little shelf. This is still that office. Guest bedroom of some sort. Fan box. Very di different meaning to box fan. Fan box right there. Bathroom at last. Hmm. Okay. Already done basin. Already done basin this game. No, cancel. Already done basin. Yes. Hmm. Uh huh. How many bathrooms we got here? Three bed, two bath. Wait, this place is only 1,400 square feet? This place feels so much bigger than 1,400 square feet. Zero carpet bathrooms this time around. Yeah, I mean, we did see one, but it was when the bingo game was paused. So... Ooh! Hmm, the bathing echo chamber? You know, I, I, gotta, I gotta be obvious, honest, I kind of miss... I kind of miss the bathing area underneath the bank in that North Dakota place. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Where 
is this? Why so high? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure where this is relative to this. We can just assume the photographer shunting in and out of reality around this house. Bobby Dodd? Thank you, Bobby Dodd. 84, huh? Type A Semesto. Not a type B? Uh, no sale, no sale. Uh-huh. 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 So what's the... What's the deal with this place? I need to see what the description is, because the history of this place is what kind of flummoxed me. Hmm. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. 300,000, eh? Hmm. Let me see here. Well, it says 9,000 square foot here. I guess that's all floors? Atomic Energy Commission. Hmm. Let's see. Historic Jackson Square and Big Ed's Pizza! Semesto is from Thundercats, right? Mm, which Thundercats? The original or one of the reboots? <laughs> hmm. Love to tinker? There's a large workshop area. Hmm. If cookie cutter home isn't your thing, you'll fall in love with this treehouse. That's a treehouse? That place is a treehouse? I didn't see a tree in the house. It looked like a weird grafting of uh, deck projects. Huh. I mean, I guess you could call that treehouse, technically. <clears throat> okay, okay. Not our thing? Okay, fine. Well, maybe... Maybe something a little more... A little more orderly, a little more rigid, a little more measured. Behold. The domicile. Now, this is another one that I feel like I have saved in the past, and it came back. Because there's something in here I've seen before, and I know we never got to on stream. Hmm. Looks like a dorm for my college. <laughs> huh. Let's see here. Yeah. A little ominous. Got a bit of a weird shape to it. Got to have a named architect. I actually had one here. I don't think we'll get to it, but there's actually a Frank Lloyd Wright home in here. That I, I remember looking at, and I was like, I'm not too wild about the aesthetics of this place. Said, oh, it's made by F Frank Lloyd Wright. And I was like, eh, guess we all screw up a pancake eventually, right? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Evil corporate CEO has kid kidnapped a family member. The music kind of gives you that vibe, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's a big enough of a footprint for a cult, but then again, you can pack those guys around in pretty tight spaces, I guess. Okay, are we going inside? Okay, I think we're going inside. Ooh. Okay, so it's got a lot of a... It's got a cement carapace of sorts. <clears throat> not the greatest, not the first time we've seen it, but also... Ooh... The cheese grater tube. So, uh, <laughs> this has a bit of a grating tube that I think goes through most of the house, if I remember right. And that's what they wrap the entire stairway around. Faraday cage? Oh yeah, IT folk love these things. <laughs> Gotta protect my cables. Exercise machine just below the stairs. Yeah, it gets lots of use. It's great, easy to get into. Definitely, definitely. It's cool, it's quirky, it's a little, eh. Oh, they unplugged the fireplace. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see here. So, a bunch of side rooms. None of the rooms are too big from my recollection. Because they have to build around that weird spiral stair thing. Ah. The cement shitter. Of course. Hmm. The cement shower. Of course. Yeah, so this also, I figure this restricts how big your furniture can be. So a lot of stuff is going to look like box furniture. From my recollection, at least. Except on the ground floor. Ground floor, you have a little more leeway, possibly. Greebled cement. Hmm. Let's see here. I'll call that for angle breaker. I don't like that. I don't like that. 
I've already called that. Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Therapist waiting room. <laughs> hmm. What else do you have here? That's the shitty backyard. There's no, not even hoops. I can't believe, people have definitely not lived here. No hoops. How boring, how sterile. Oh, there's an overlook. Oh. I'll call that for balcony. I'll call that for balcony. It's a blurry line sometimes. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Congrats, bingo number one. Ooh. Hmm. Pardon me if my energy is lagging in this last half, y'all. The vapor, the the uh, pe, the humidifier can only do so much heavy lifting for your old man here. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see here. Ooh, what's that? Is that a del? Is that a meat slicer? That's a deli meat slicer, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Uh, you and me both, Canary. You and me both. I'm gonna leave this sucker going overnight in my bedroom. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. There's the cement inner, inner, inner nougat right here once again, huh? Oh. Okay. Let's see. All the rooms are very small. Oh! Oh! It's a Gremlins 2 chair! It's a Gremlins... No, Gremlins 1 chair. It's the De it's the Deagle chair. Oh my god. Oh my god. We saw like our... F probably one of our first ones not too long ago. And it's back again. Ooh! I love that so much. It's the best. Hmm. Only on... Well, I guess it goes all the way down, probably. Hmm. Imagine the ride from ground to top level. <laughs> It's gotta take a long time. These suckers don't go fast, I figure. Oh! My chess board! Hmm. That's all I do in here is play chess, right? Hmm. Gotta give off that air of intelligence, of course. Oh. Huh. Okay. Inversion table? It's an inversion table, right? Huh. Okay. Let's see here. Storage or mm, almost looks like a shot off to like one of the water lines almost, but that's not what it is. Huh? Went pretty fast in Gremlins. I was thinking about that after I said it too, honestly. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Anything else here? Oh, there it goes. It goes to the very top. Okay. And that's where the master bedroom is, of course. Hm. Boy. Hm. Built by someone who wants to be a supervillain, doesn't quite have the money or the taste for it. <laughs> I feel like the missing part of the equation is I, I need to see how they dress, you know? There's a good aesthetic. If they look like a whole Bond villain, or they have, they have like a burnt umber suit and pants and undershirt and like a neckerchief and it all matches, you know? <laughs> Hmm. House looks pretty cool. Yeah, there's a there's a few houses in here that are a little strange, but I could definitely understand some folks digging it. You know, there's it's there's nothing horrific here. It's very, in my opinion, a little weirdly styled. But hey, it's not my thing. You know, that's just that's just how tastes be. Hmm. Ooh. Well, somebody jinxed it. There's our carpeted bathroom. Somebody said earlier, wow, I can't believe we had, haven't had a carpeted bathroom this whole time. Well, there it is. There it is. It's kind of like bugs inside the house. It's not that you don't have them. It's that you haven't found them yet. Okay? Always keep your guard up. Just not a Bond villain. Just you wait. Just you wait. I'll get my Bond villain decor set together. Dueling showers? Huh. Wait a second. Wait. There's not a tub, per se? I mean, I get is this, is this meant for soaking your feet and showering? Because there's not a tub. There's two faucets. The handles are very low. Strange. Strange. Huh. Is it just open the elements? Uh, mm? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is uh, glass over here, and it meets this right here. Weird. Three feet away, not gay. Exactly. Exactly. Huh. And... Is this... Weird. Okay, that's the no that's the no no triangle. You can't go in there. That's it. That's it. Anything else out here? No. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. Eight hundred thousand. Cougar Lane. Oh boy. All those older ladies. My goodness. Hmm. Prescott, Arizona. Ah. Let's see here. What do you got in here, buddy? Hmm. Not even a million? Well, it's expensive, but also it, it, it's Arizona? I usually feel... Oh, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. Ah. Uh, press get. Press get. Press get. Press... Prescott. It's Prescott, Arizona, of course. Architect Will Bruder. <laughs> I'm just thinking of G Gundam, but there's a guy named Schwartz Bruder who is, um... Well, I won't spoil it. If you know German, well, there you go. <laughs> Will Bruder. Okay, okay. Uh, Award-winning architect, description. There's a lot of text, y'all. As is the huge. I'm going to slam this into chat in case anybody wants to peruse it, okay? But we have hit bingo number five, so it is time to wrap up the game. Uh, and there's no way I can get a bingo, to be honest. Let me call the auto call, and since there's since there's no way I can win, I'm going to close out redemption, or close out the prediction before I forget. <laughs> okay. There we go. <clears throat> now. Hmm. Let's see. So, whilst that's ticking down, I'll close that. Where is, uh... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hmm. Let me see here. <sighs> no. Price spoiler. Nope. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Oop. <clears throat> Unassuming on the outside. Yep. Just like me. Oh! Oh, that's a king frog right there! Look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. Holy shit, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> King Frog. Holy shit. <laughs> Death <and> monarchy. <laughs> Man, throw out throw out tire. We can't rise against the you, you rise against the monarchy. You've been found out. Oh, let me see. I should actually just slap this out without context. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> and one second. Yep. Yep. Blessed be. Blessed be. Woo. Okay. Let me tighten this up a little. Oh boy, I forgot how much I had to zoom in to get a shot of that fella. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Man, I've still... I swear, once I wrap up... Once I wrap up my exam crap and I actually work on the geology lecture stuff, then I will work on getting the secondary computer experiment up and going so I can actually control Z this stuff with reckless abandon without crashing OBS. Okay, and let me... End game, uh, yeah, and create new game. There it is. Okay, so what else do we have here? 
Yeah. A little, a little heavily decorated. Got your bonus flamingos. Okay, okay. Man, there's a lot of stuff in the door, actually, in the window, actually. What's going on over here? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got art. We have art. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Hmm. So, stairway here to. Hmm. Okay. Half story up. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, Godzilla spotted. Ooh, that is Godzilla right below the. I wonder what that's supposed to be. I'm actually curious about that. Huh. Why do I feel like we've seen this house before? Um, we've not. There are a few that kind of sometimes feel like they're tickling that thought in your brain where it's like, I've seen this before. You get a few more and you're like, oh no, I've definitely not seen this. This one I am pretty sure. There is there is one that I think I know which one you're thinking of, maybe. And I can understand it. I feel like maybe the wallpaper color and the eccentric art stuff everywhere is probably doing that. Oh, that's a face. That's a face right there. That's eyes. That's a nose. That's a mouth. They're hollering. They're hollering at us right now. Look at that. Look at that. Like, uh, I can, I can, let me show you what I mean here. Right below, right above the Orville Peck. Let me do windowed projector. Yeah, yeah. It's still working. So, uh, they got their eye here. They got their mouth. And they got their eye. No, they got their eye. They got their mouth. They're yelling. Yeah, yeah. That's that. That's that. That's it right there. It is by G. Up. Age. Two. There we go. My masterwork. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hmm. Where is my thing here? <laughs> Scrungle this down. There we go. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Whoops. I didn't mean to click that. No. Hmm. Ooh! Ooh la la. That leg. That leg goes on for days. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! That, that heel cannot be comfortable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why though? Why not? Doing the big stretch. I have con concerns about the, the bump on the shin. Um, it's probably okay. It's probably okay. I'm sure they're fine. They're, 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 they're doing it. They're doing fine. Hmm. It definitely does go all the way up. Legs for days. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seems fine. Hmm. Nice bubblegum pink. Faded bubblegum pink mugs. Uh huh. Okay. Anything else here? Nope. That's where mugs go. That's Godzilla. There you go. Love me a good Zilla. Home sweet home. Oh. All right, closet. And then catch your eyes. Not particularly. Not particularly. Retired artsy farts home. Nothing wrong with that. Ooh. Huh. Door knocker is a doggo. Roller skates. Oh, I missed those. Ooh. Roller skates, huh? Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Bathroom. Ooh. Okay. Got my snow cones here. Perfect place. Sink. Sure. Huh. Weird noodles on this plant. Weird noodles. Kraken shower curtain. It does have that look, doesn't it? 
I was kind of thrown off by how these look right here. I'm like, is that decorative or is that real? What's going on here? Oh, boy. <clears throat> it's right in the way, too. What? Actually, genuinely, what is this? That's not a real plant, right? That's decorative. It's also in the way. Huh? That's strange. Shower, it looks like shower curtain. I got my dad. Oh, no, I think it's the same one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If we're at your dad's place, you, sh you should uh, let me know and I can stop early and avoid, you know, and avoid doxing things too much, okay? That's a fold hand. Fold hand? Gold hand? Oh, on the wall? I'm looking at this hanging plant thing here. That's weird. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, drums? Godzilla mask? Somebody really loves Godzilla. Goat mask? Microphones? For karaoke? For podcasting? Ow. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Is this another podcasting situation? Huh. They don't have a ring light, so... I mean, you don't really... I mean, unless you're using camera stuff, you're not going to need that for a, for a podcast. Ooh, wait. Uh... That's not a 3D printer enclosure. That's an enclosure for something. That's not a that's not a fish tank. What is that? Hmm. More like a musician than a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80 something year old Nona love Godzilla movies. She didn't like movies. <laughs> Good on her. I'm kind of drawn in by this. Actually, is it like a rinky dink laser cutter? Terrarium? Let me zoom in on this. Hang on. I know you can get, like, uh, very cheaply made small footprint laser printers from overseas. They have it near the window, and I was like, is this for exfiltration? Exotic pet? Maybe that? Ah. Uh, curious. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. The Baphomet on the wall? Yeah, I saw this. I was like, wait, is that the goat guy? Huh. Petey on the bottom left. Petey. Hmm. I see the Wolfman. Petey on the bottom left. You mean the cat mask? I'm not familiar with Petey. Huh. Oh, oh, on the... Oh, there. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was kind of torn because I was like, well, it's right by the window. Is that for, like, exfiltration? I don't know why. My brain was thinking 3D printer and then I was thinking laser cutter. This would have been a very weird place for either of those, honestly, though. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! That's an old monitor there, though! Wowee! I'll call that for old world tech. That's a... That's like... That's damn near a CRT monitor, isn't it? Looks like one. Authentic DOS game experience. Ooh! I can respect it. I can respect it. That's a CRT? Is it? Ugh. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I, my brain lapsed. Yeah, that's a CRT. Yeah. My brain went to LCD for some reason. I was like, really? Hmm. Oh. The illness is weighing on my mind. Sorry. Pardon the slow processing. <clears throat> Corner mirror, they'll only see those in groceries or doctor's offices. Yeah, I actually missed this. That's peculiar. Huh. Okay. Is an Edward Scissorhands thing? No. I have no idea. Don't listen to what I say anymore. Ooh. Huh. More stuff over here. Okay, this is this isn't a conversation pit. We're not a conversation. This is sunken right here. Huh. Okay, it's kind of quirky. Ew. That's painted stone back there? Oh, jeez. Eh. So the couch here are just actual bunches of pillows. Ugh, I don't like that being stone back there. I really hate that. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Okay. Huh. 
<laughs> I don't speak French, but I see bourgeoisie. <laughs> Ain't nothing charming about the bougie. Okay, okay. <laughs> Seen that movie? What movie is it? It's not Clockwork Orange, right? I see the bowler hat. Discreet Charm of Bourgeoisie by Louis Bunuel. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, never heard of it, never heard of it, honestly. <clears throat> when you said movie, I looked at the hat and I was like, the hat they wear in a clockwork orange? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. 1972, I see. What does this say over here? We heading over there? No? No? No. No. Backyard. Hmm. Ottoman? Ah! Who is this? Huh. Just a little guy. Not the good little guy, but a random guy. Ooh. That's a cryptid shadow. I see that shoulder. You can't hide from me, beast. Well, I mean, you probably can, but people are going to spot it eventually, right? There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, boy. 280,000. Omaha, Nebraska. What's special? What ain't? <laughs> There's that fucking brand name again. God, it hit me like... It hit me like a clothesline last time. First thing I see is I scroll down there. Well... <sighs> you gotta see a doctor about that. You gotta see a doctor about that. Hmm. Main bath has been updated while keeping the character of the home. Interesting. Uh-huh. Location, location, location. That's buzzword, baby. Booze. Work. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 66. 10,000 square foot. Oof. Okay, well, that's all the grass in the back, too. Incredible conversation. But it's okay. It's an okay conversation, Pit. Don't don't puff your chest out too much, buddy. All right. Let me see here. Uh huh. And, uh huh. It's barely a pit. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Oh, you. I. I just shifted. You're doing this to me. Fine. This is where we're staying. Oh, good. Okay. Hmm. Porch is okay. Interior seems fine. Oh, nice wall art, actually. Huh. Oh! Paul Mystery? Along with the Shinbreaker. Oh, God, this thing. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A slice out of the 70s, let me tell you. Hmm. Who boy. This is a picture of me thinking of having to get inside this bed late at night. Oh no, oh no. Ooh. Already done ankle break of this game? I've not. Ooh. Hmm. Slice out of your shin. Yep. <laughs> the palmistry thing is quite funny. Huh. <clears throat> wow. Bathroom. Ah. Eh. It okay. Shitty couch on the right. Oh! The weird cuck couch. What's going on here? Huh. That's strange. Well, okay. Cuck couch. I stuttered, of course. Ah. Man, what the heck? How does... Huh? That's weird. Why not just have one door that has a big open area? Do they have this partitioned into a shitty side area here? The fucking mirror? This mirror? Don't worry about that mirror. Don't worry about that mirror. Uh-huh. I'm I am doing the very serious task of scrutinizing their cabinetry, okay? It's very important in a kitchen, let me tell you. Pantry. We're in game three. I'll call that for a Michael. I love it when I clearly label rooms, because I often forget, what was my pantry here? I don't know. Shine. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Bathroom two. 
does not spark ideas. Ooh, is that a step over? Or is that on the ground? That's on the ground. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, second floor. There's the second floor. Nice wood. <gasps> okay, so, uh... <clears throat> the first thing. Mannequins. We do have mannequins. There is a... <laughs> Ape with wings? A possum? Question mark? Little skeletons? Seems to be a, ma a, a mannequin dress form thing? A Teletubby? Somebody in a Santa hat? Santa in his sleeping outfit? Wizard of Oz flying monkey, is that what it is? Oh. The skeleton here is doing a JoJo pose? Look at this, it's all craned back and it's doing a lean. You see this sucker? Wow, sexy Skellington. <laughs> hmm. Strange collection? It definitely is. It definitely is. So, uh... Tchotchkes. There we go. Ooh. Two, uh, two aunts, corporate one, and the new age one. I want to meet the new age one. Really want to meet the new age one. Oh, that's a clown right there, I think. We could see it from the previous room, or the, the wooden... The wooden area at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> okay. Peace! Parrot. Ooh, where the hell is this? Got the frog art, we got the crystals, we got... The horizon? Okay, okay, this is definitely the cool aunt. This is definitely the cool aunt. Oh boy. Definitely the crying room. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they got their music down here. Their... Christmas tree lights? Huh. I mean... I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I should do painting, actually. And, yep, there we go. Shrinking amount of FM stations to reach on that radio. <laughs> Ooh, that cat! Look at that cat! Oh my god. That is a mad cat. Is that a boombox behind it, or is it wearing headphones? If it's wearing headphones, they aren't in the right spot. If I had to nitpick, uh, if I had to nitpick some things here. Headphones? Hmm. I see, I see. Wait. And, a uh, horse? Hmm? Kind of ominous. This is actually the last photo. I'm just kind of pausing on it because I'm vexed by this random, random little pony in here. Ah, the neighbors. <laughs> huh. Wow. So, uh, 350 Hot Springs, Arkansas. I see. 1910. Uh-huh. Gem is just what you need with its prime location near Bathhouse Row. Hmm. It's already plumbed for third floor. Cellar has the wood floor as well. Original plumbing house was recently redone. Not to mention all the air ducts were clean and inspected. Ah. I see, I see. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Curious. <clears throat> Stupid to go alone. Ball state is real. Ball State? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How's it going, Oozworm? What's going on today? Retro. Ooh. What were you doing today, dude? I see retro. What are y'all thinking about? Uh, we're inside of a cool aunt house, I think. Is, it, is there anybody here that's speaking to the folks with the raiding group? How are you feeling about the sexy skeleton right here? The one doing the JoJo pose. Hmm. Let me see. Wheel of Sundays. Ooh. I see, I see. Hate the Teletubby? Look, look, the Teletubby's been here for a while, okay? They're cool. They're cool. They're not gonna narc on us. We'll show we did some tier lists. I see, I see. Welcome in, dude. Every NCAA mascot. Ooh. Hmm. Who is, uh... 
Who is bottom of the bottom, if you don't mind my asking? I may not know it by the creature name, but I'm actually curious about who is, like, absolutely bar none the worst. <clears throat> logo, I'm sorry. Oh no, somebody said logo, not mascot? I see, I see. What's the shittiest of the shittiest? I'm curious, actually. Is that a Raggedy Ann next to the Teletubby? Uh, I don't know. Raggedy Ann had red hair, correct? I don't believe so. In a fight, right? <laughs> Is this which ones Oozworm could beat up in a fight? Let me see here. Was there anything else about this place? I don't think so. I don't think so. That was kind of it for this one. I think we got probably two houses? Let me see. Let me see. Let me tuck this one away. Okay. Okay. What was this one? And what was... Okay, I remember the final one. Logos. They couldn't really fight. Mm hmm. So they're all pushovers. All the logos. I think that stands... That, st that, that sounds like a fair assessment. I could beat up these signs. <laughs> At the bottom of the bottom where the schools... Oh, I see. I see. Okay, that would do it. Let me see here. So. Okay. Mini windows, yeah. We had a house earlier that had really weird window shapes. There was one that was shaped like a mushroom or shaped like a Venus, whichever you prefer. It's up to interpretation. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, it's got a privacy hedge. It's kind of dead. Why does it look so sedated? It's kind of interesting that it doesn't actually have a proper cement driveway, per se, but, well, whatever, whatever. You just mine the pothole and you'll be fine. Okay, so... Ah! I'm thinking. Let's see here. We heading inside? Ooh, that's a big yard. Paved at some point. Some point very, very far prior to the present. Okay, siding is coming off here, actually. Ooh, it's shedding. It's shedding. It's time for a new coat. Hmm. Is it that time of year already? My God, how time flies. All right. Front porch. Uh-oh. So, uh, uh, there is something I have thought about many a times, y'all. I'm actually quite glad that Ooze and the Raiders came in at the time they did because, uh, this may be a mildly cursed house. Gengar spotted. The Gengar is uh, the, to reuse an adage, it is the oasis in the desert in this case. We are inside of a Funko Pop house. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Funko Pop Central. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I need to make a plug real fast because I love getting these pictures out of context, just slapping them on Twitter. Mmm, boy. Mmm, boy. I don't even know if I spelled Funko right. Is it K? Is it C? What is it? Google, what are you? Funk. It's with a K. I never remember that. Bueno, bueno. Don't even have alcohol in the house? That sounds like a you problem, buddy. Also, it, it, ooh, Cheshire Cat. It is a Sunday, actually, so that wouldn't be very responsible, young man. Ooh. Evidence of a little guy, though. <laughs> okay, what do we have in here? Oh! Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. Whoop. Hey, no smoking. Look at this cat clock. Look at this cat clock. <laughs> <laughs> So, from my understanding, something wore out or spilled and stained here? It does look like a murder kitchen, but... <laughs> I don't know what it could have been, but, well, what's up with the ceiling? Honestly, it's... I'm glad you brought, brought that up, Doctor, because, full disclosure, I didn't notice the ceiling until you mentioned it. <laughs> I was looking everywhere else, except up here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's visible damage. That's a little bit of a seepage up there. Hmm. Yeah. Legitimately, I could not... I didn't even think to look at the ceiling in here. Because I think I, I think I was looking in here, 
And then I got pulled here, and then just was not thinking about it in here. Causing the rest of the house to decay. Uh, the rot's already permeated through the walls. Now, do we have any other good stuff? There's a lot of Pokemon in here. There's a Baby Yoda, there's a Pokemon, there's Funkos. There's a lot of dolls up here. <clears throat> kind of a, a heavy gaggle of them, honestly. <laughs> hmm. More Funkos on the left. There are always more Funkos. Corporate tchotchkes. Boy, howdy. Are those Monster High dolls? Well, I don't even know what Monster High is, so... Yes? <laughs> on the right. Over here? Hmm. Okay. They haven't removed the Funko from their boxes. That's good. Uh-oh. So, Scream Ghostman. Ooh, that's a Mars Attacks mannequin! Woo! I ain't never seen one of these in the wild. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. So, the Funkos continue along here. No room for storage. I gotta say. Jesus Christ. Huh. Dr. Smasher cheered X100. Uh -huh. There's always more and it's always worse. <laughs> it keeps going. That's just how humanity goes. They always find a way to dig further down the bottom of the barrel. Thank you for the bits, Doctor. Also, did y'all want another angle of the Mars Attacks dude? Look at the condition. Chucky dolls? Chucky dolls? Chucky wall? There's a lot of Chucky here. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Oh. Right next to the fireplace. Didn't they... Doesn't he get injured by getting thrown into a fireplace at one point in one of them? I feel like part of his face gets messed up, and I was just thinking about him being near a fireplace. Hmm. In the first movie. I see, I see. I've actually been curious about that. How do those hold up? The first one in particular, I, I should say. I know they go off the rails. Kind of like Friday the 13th did. But is the first one still kind of okay, or is it kind of just not at really good at all? The first two are fun. Okay, okay. Because I remember they showed those on USA all the time, along with, like, Friday the 13th, and I always catch those, and when I was a wee baby G out, those were a... those were quite freaky. First one's fri fine, the later ones are wild. I know they get really, really strange when they go, like... What is it? Uh, was it Death to Chucky or Bride of Chucky? They really start getting bizarre with that stuff. Like he finds his old flame and turns her into a doll and then she gets pregnant or something? I don't know. I don't know. We're moving on. <laughs> Basement. Looks great. Looks wonderful. Is this carpet or cement? I don't know. Don't think about it. 90s and aughts where they started getting people like John Waters to act in them. Oh, John Waters was in one of those? Oh, shit. Huh. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh. Okay, we got plush dolls. We got stuff here. Lady. Hmm. No Funkos? Just other collect- Nope, there's Funkos there. Okay, okay. There's definitely still Funkos. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. No room is safe? No. Regrettably. Regrettably. They definitely outnumber us. We're not escaping. Not anytime soon. Also, gamer? No. No, not gamer. Okay. <clears throat> Is that Mariah Carey on the pillow by the Tails plushie? Oh, that's a Tails plushie! I didn't notice that! I don't know. I don't know. Is that Mariah? I don't know if that, who that is. Yeah? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Oh, a little bit of a messy room. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Elvira calendar on the left. Oh, did I miss an Elvira calendar? Somebody point on Elvira. Well, I see that Elvira... I guess it's either a picture or a uh, calendar enclosed in here. Next pick. Oh! Good catch, Stern. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Someone's dominating this house. <laughs> I mean, Team Elvira's dominating, I think, right now. They're probably the same person, right? Right? Definitely not this person. Or this person. Wow, actually, how many people? Four bedroom. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Funko Pop Fred is throwing off the, uh, the Funko Pop ownership numbers, I think. <laughs> huh. Wait, is that... That's not Splash. What is that? What is that? Huh? Lots of visible damage. Oh, yeah, we got visible damage already. Don't you worry. Mermaids. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Well, Splash was mermaids, technically. Although I guess that kind of misses the point of what I was doing. <laughs> Another Elvira. Ooh. A lot of them. And, of course, who could forget... Wait, is that Regan? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought this said Megan. I was going to say that, and I was like, wait a second. Is that Reagan? No, wait, it's Regan. Regan spelt different. <laughs> I was going to be very confused they had a Regan action figure in the middle of all of this. Oh, man. Hmm. Bit of a Hank Hill situation here. Scream, of course. Prop sword. More Funkos. Oh, my God. There's even more. Woo! Wow. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. So many. Ursula? Yeah? Wow. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Trios and cheered X321. Hmm. This house suffers from severe and malignant funkosis. <laughs> the only hope is to raise the entire edifice to prevent it from spreading to other domiciles. It's kind of like with bed bugs is the thing, though. I mean, you have to burn down the entire house, definitely. Thank you for the bits, Triosif. Hmm. Anything interesting here? Love you more? No. No. Well, being watched. Being watched. I feel like the some of these fall down all the time, unless they're doing, like, double-sided tape tricks up there. <laughs> Do you think they dust their Funko Pop boxes? <sighs> probably not. I, I'm willing to say probably not. Hmm. I mean, especially... I, I figure if they made their beds... If somebody was, you know... If, if some of them were the type who made their beds, like, if somebody was very particularly clean... They all seem to have a group effort in the Funko Pops. Like, this one is the closest to orderly that I could see. I don't think they would be doing it. I don't know. It's 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 very funny because I can't quite pick out who would be the most focused on the Funko Pop thing. It's probably like a group effort thing, you know? Funkos came with a house. <laughs> if the Funkos came with a house, I would raise it and lower the value. Uh, what is the value? 300,000. Warwick, Rhode Island. Are the Funko Pops from 1942? Group showing. Mm. Oh. Sold as is, you say. Huh. Huh. Curious. As is. Mildly concerning. I mean, if they have so much stuff in the way, then you can't really see if there's any problems. That's kind of a trick they do here, yeah? Okay, okay. Hmm. One sec. Oop, oop. What is this? Can I help you? No? Okay, fine. Do Funko Pops count as vinyl siding? What are they actually made out of? You can print them personally, right? Aren't they, aren't they just made out of, like... Aren't they made out of, like, ABS plastic or something like that? Let me see. Let me see. Let me tuck this away. Boop. And, uh... Sorry, folks. Where is... What am I looking for here? No, not this guy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Tucked away. And. There it is. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. Home stretch humidifier. Home stretch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Garbage is what they're made out of. Well, this is true. This is true. Okay. What do we have here? Hmm. Seems fine. Seems cozy. Seems quaint. Huh. Whoa! We've been spotted. Catwoman's here, but so's Wonder Woman, but. Catwoman's got her... Does she know that Catwoman's there? Can, wait, does Catwoman and Wonder Woman ever get into a fight? If they got into a fight, Wonder Woman would have to win, right? Right? Is that how the power levels work in these things? Hmm. Whoop. Poison Ivy? What era Poison Ivy is this? On TV? No. Hmm. Get the feeling the owner has written at least one screen. <laughs> one screen about film critics. This was the Poison Ivy from one of the 90s movies? Uma Thurman, that's right, that's who it was. I was trying to remember who which who was the one in recent years. 
recent ish Batman and Robin Poison Ivy. Ah. Okay. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering how long these hang out here. Have they, are they like a permanent fixture? I like the idea that they've left them here. They know what they're doing. Look, they've unplugged the lamps. They've unplugged the lamps. They don't have anything plugged in still, but they said, no, 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 I gotta leave my, I gotta leave my uh, wax statues here. Hmm. Hmm. Minigans wander the house at night. <laughs> keep changing the locks. They keep getting in somehow. Ooh, what's this say? Treat Reem? Treat Reem? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, sweet treat ice cream. Huh? Wait, is this another Catwoman? Is this another Catwoman? Who's this? She has a cat. She has a cat. That's probably a Catwoman, right? That was her big thing. Cats and whips. That's an Eartha Kit. Eartha Kit. Second Catwoman. Oh, the actress. I see, I see. Okay, okay. I was like, Eartha Kit? I've never heard of that character. Hmm. The other one was Lee Merriweather. Catwoman. Okay. I knew that Lee Merriweather was somewhere in the Catwoman run. Or at least I thought I did. And this is... Huh? Who are you? Who is this? Any knowers? Halle Berry Catwoman. That's not Halle Berry, is it? Huh? I don't know who that is. Is that from one of the TV shows? Like, modern-ish? Could be. Is that just Lara Croft? I mean, I was thinking, is that Lara Croft? Is it, uh... Is it, uh... <laughs> Do we need all, to be concerned about all the statues? All the statues are of female characters. Eh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Stern. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. There she is with her cat. Wow. Such realistic cat details. <laughs> hmm. The combat fan tells me Kitana from Mortal Kombat. Oh, she have a com... Oh, I thought that was wall decor. I didn't know that was a fan she was holding. Okay, okay. Huh. Ooh. Oh, that's Wonder Woman. That's Wonder Woman. She's just directly behind us. Okay, okay. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> just want the cat part of the statue. <laughs> oh, hell, welcome Entirely back. Entirely hell just subscribed for 23 months. My goodness. I love to live in the woods with all my very real and living friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are a bit quiet these days, <laughs> though. Thank you for the bits. Not the bits, the resub. For 23 months. My goodness, my goodness. Pardon me, the brain is deflating. Even rapidly. <gasps> oh! Well, that's my... That's my... <laughs> that's my bedside Batwoman. Of course. Of course. Wonderful. <laughs> Just hanging out. Ta-da! Is this... Wait. That's, that's her... No, wait! That's her motorcycle! She has a motorcycle! I was like, what is this? And I'm like, we're just joking. That's a motorcycle. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, there she is. With a bat pedestal. That's impressive. Huh. Okay. It's so weird because nothing is DC themed except for the statues. There's Supergirl? Superwoman? I'm not familiar with... Which era is this character from? Huh. Curious. Ooh, Alpha. Welcome back for seven. Psy Alpha 08 just subscribed for seven months. Mm. Funko O's should be enshrined in a cursed <laughs> hall of fame. <laughs> Thank you for the prime, by the way. 80s, 90s as hell. 80s Supergirl. I see. Okay, okay. Huh. Huh. Oh, we got, uh... Oh god, we we got a uh, what's her name? I used to know her name. I forgot. Was she was she from uh uh Maleficent? Thank you, thank you. What is it? This is an Angela Jolie one. I guess it is. If this is supposed to be a live action depiction, it probably is Angela Probably is Angelina Jolie's? I don't know. I never saw the movie, but I feel like part of it was to 
get the look right? Hmm. Made a live action Sleepy Beauty. They made a movie with uh with uh, Angelina Jolie called Maleficent, and she was playing the witch. Uh, that's all I know about it. I think it was supposed to be pretty well reserved, or pretty well received, I think. Maleficent watches you sleep. Well, that's kind of what she does. That's her whole raison d'etre. Which is reason for d'etre. Bathroom? Sure. Whoa! And... Ma'am? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, is that Chun-Li? Yeah, spike bracelets. Okay. Huh. From the movie? Huh. Snake rug? Yeah, snake rug. With, uh... Those Mahjong tiles? Huh. Well, I've seen it was the last major project for Rick Baker before he retired. Uh-huh. Oh. This is just mattress? Okay. Wait a second. Huh. There's a weird little thing over there. Can't quite make it out. I think they're just normal dominoes. Yeah, the arrangement's kind of peculiar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Turtlet. Yeah. Oh, shit handles. Hmm. Hmm. It looked like a rocking horse, didn't it? I was sort of like, is that a rock? I, I can't tell. Oh. An elevator. Interesting, interesting. So I saw the handles on the turlet, and I was thinking, okay, they need assistance, but seeing a, uh, seems to be an elevator. This is an elevator, right? Yeah, it's got the phone down low. I guess so, when they're in a wheelchair. Huh. Literal oh shit handles? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, okay. Let me do the... Where is it? Ooh. Okay. Oh! Right where we left them, ladies. Ooh, congrats on the bingo horvat, sir. Oh, closer look of Catwoman. Yeah, it's a good outfit, it's a good outfit. Washer dryer, yep. Hmm. Kicked out. And yet we can still hear the voices in the distance. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Just a little over a million. Topsfield. Huh? Oop, Massachusetts. Oop, oop, oop. There he is. Huh. In-law suite with elevator. Masco School District. Uh-huh. 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 When was it built? 86. Not sure where the elevator is located. We saw it. We saw the elevator, but I don't know where the heck it was. Breaking news! Batman, a load of super... Uh, a load of female superheroes we present at the open house. Each mannequin... <laughs> Some of those may not be superheroes. Some of them may be villains. <laughs> Where's Batman? No boys allowed, only girls. <laughs> hmm. Curious. Curious. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think that'll do it for me. I need to go breathe heavily from, uh... <clears throat> I need to go breathe heavily from this humidifier. Um, so I got a... Wednesday? There should be a latish stream, I believe. Huff the humidifier. Boy, howdy. You're gonna have to, t not have to tell me how to do that. <laughs> be breathing deeply of that. Trust me, trust me. Well, let me see. Uh, who's going? It is... Hmm, it is Mimi's birthday. She is AFK right now, I think, though. Uh, who else? Who else? Ah, uh, I think Riona's caught us fairly recently. Yeah, we can raid into Riona. I think it's it's her partner. Yeah, partner anniversary. Okay, yeah, she's doing Ocarina Time and Majora's Mask Randomizer. Ooh. Okay, yeah. So, uh, do we still have the, do the raid thing still work? Yeah, if you copy-paste it, that should do it. But yeah, um, <clears throat> thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you probably Wednesday evening. I'll post something in the Discord. You know how it is. But that's what I'm planning for now, all right? So till next time, have a good one. Um, if the Funko Pops talk to you, just try to block out the voices, okay? I know there's a lot of them, but you'll, you'll figure it out. You're fine. You're adults. Anyway, have a great week, folks. I'll see you sometime soon. 
Farewell! I'm crumbling to dust. Maybe that's why 